well, almost. Well, I did forget to hit record, but I, I, oh, huh. I did forget to hit record, but I got it just at the end. So if you're, if you're, if you're watching the uh, video of this, why is it so tinny in my ears? Something is not right, guys. Something is not right with the sound. It is tinny in my ears. Welcome to the show. I have no idea where Catherine is. She'll be here soon. She'll be here soon. I'm merged up. Yeah, big boy, I'm merged up in you. What's this? What's this? It's got spaff on it. I like hats. Not that much. I'm merged up. You want to buy merch? TLNA.co.uk. Do it. Do it. Do it. Go and do it. Merched up to the max. Welcome to the show. This is the Late Night Alternative, the morning edition. My name is Ian Lee. Today, we are going to watch episode four of Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Was I watching a repeat a second ago? Thanks for being a fan, Danny, and noticing the beard. Ah, did you all get your schedules? Have you all signed up to ianandcatherine.com? to get your schedules. I hope so. I hope so. Um, and uh, don't go to ianlee.com. That site is down. I don't know what's wrong with that site. I'm going to get that site pulled. I've asked the web hosters um, to pull that site and it's going to, it should, it should redirect you to ianandcatherine.com. I don't know why it's not doing that. I've, I've typed in the little box, redirect to ianandcatherine.com. I know Matty's here. Matty knows the, um, Matty knows, uh, why is that not working? Uh, Matty knows more about computers than I ever could. And he built ianandcatherine.com and it's a great website. He's done a great job. And I would like to thank him personally. I would uh, like to thank that guy personally. Um, but I, Matty, why the hell is it not, um, why the hell does my forward Network. So when you go to ianlee.com, it should take you to... Um... What's it doing, Mike? No! No, no, no! Good morning, lovely jubbly. Good morning, lovely jubbly. If you want to hear the full show audio, you've got to sign up to Patreon. Patreon.com slash Ian... No, Ian and Catherine. <laughs> We're at 574... We're at five seven four. Uh, we we were we were we were at five seven two. Then we went down to like five six eight the other day. Danny, call in. Call in, Danny. It's a phoning show. Call in, Danny. Danny, call in. Danny, call in. It's a call in show. Um, Danny, call in. 0203-286-6370 is the telephone number. Uh, Kate says, I got my email. I have to rescue it from the junk. Mmm, yes. Some of that. Who knows how that works? Um, June's donations. June? Uh, for, for college books for me. Here she comes. Here comes my queen. And a kitten for Catherine. Those are the donations. Yes, big boy. Yes, big boy. You'd love to, but your services are restricted. What do you mean your services? Are you in prison? Good morning, my queen. Hello. I can see your arms. I know, they're out. Oh. Oh, you're going to see the guns, the big guns are on display. It's the summertime. It's, it's the summertime. Uh, Danny says, I'd, I'd love to call him, but my service is restricted. Uh-oh. Te message us, your, do it on Skype, it's free. Or whisper me your phone number and I will call you back. I'll call you, Danny. How's about them apples? I will call you, but I need to know your phone number. Here we go. Here's the music for Catherine. There we go. Um, lovely to see you. We do the Monday morning Welcome. handshake, as we often do. Uh, that's how this thing's so I'm merged up to the max. I'm selling. I'm selling. I'm channeling Cruella today. Feeling it. Danny says, I try Skype on my PC. Try Skype on your PC. Whoa! Que paso? Neil Wilkinson. Neil Wilkinson. He's a lovely guy. He's got two eyes. Neil Wilkinson. Just signed up to Patreon, ladies nice. and gentlemen. That is what we're like. Has it changed the numbers? No, the numbers don't always change as a direct result. It has not changed the numbers. So what's this apology you owe me? 
I did it yesterday on the stream. Well, I, I cut to adverts because I stopped um, subbing. So. Okay, well that's that's that's. So what happened? You love the, you love the t-shirt, and you can buy this t-shirt. Not the one I'm wearing. That would be churlish. You can buy T L N A. Shut the fudge up. T L N A. Co. Uk. That's the one. It, uh, if I didn't, if I cancel and resub, do I get a song? Good. Um. It, I played around with this cable, and it turns out are your headphones on in. No, that would turns have been out a lot. your your side of the connection is worse than mine. It's very loosey. We got anonymous. Hello, anonymous. Um, don't hang up. Uh, take the answer like a what a coward. What's what a that? coward? Anonymous. What's a coward? It was rude. Yeah. It wasn't as rude as it could have been, but it was rude. What did you say? We don't have to answer it. Now, what are you doing? Now you fiddled with now it. I can and that, hear. I well, can no, hear I before. can't hear now. Can you hear now? Yes. There we go. We got it. I've ordered, uh, I've ordered a new lead that's coming today. Why is Catherine always late? <laughs> don't have to answer it if you don't I want. I don't live here. <laughs> can you ring back, please? Because I'd like to discuss this with you. Ring back, you piece of trash. I can, I can tell you. God damn. I'm not always late, but also, um, you're not my boss. I am. <laughs> why, why are people being dicks at um, on a nine Monday. minutes past ten? It's a Monday. Good morning, caller. Good morning. How are you doing? Very well. Who is this, please? It's, uh, my name's Sean. Sean from uh, London. That Sean. Ah, Sean. Sean. Ah, London Sean. I know you. <laughs> yes. Hello, London Sean. What? 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 Yeah, that oh, guy. Yeah. What? What do you want? Oh. Oh. Oh, they can't hear you. Um, hang on a minute. We, you may have to do that all over again. Why? But we'd love to hear it again. Try just say something now. <laughs> Why is that? Oh, this. Hang on a minute. This. Just, just, just tell us what you have for breakfast while I turn up all of the audio. You haven't had any breakfast, my. God, all right, I've got, this was working earlier. This actually worked. Hang on, stay there, caller. Um, uh, audio output capture. Uh, hang on, stay there, caller. There we go. Now that now they can, no. Now they should be able to hear you. Hello, hello. Oh, Jesus, they can't hear you. Oh. What is wrong with this? Yes, they can. They can hear you. Go. They can hear me. Oh, yes, I don't know what yeah. is going on here with this yeah, crappy so system. No, nothing in particular, just really, really enjoying the show. I... Um, I work in uh, the NHS and obviously the last couple of years have been quite challenging so having the um, option to come back whatever time and tune into you whether it's late at night or in the morning has always been quite a, a nice um, you know uh, escape shall we say London uh, Sean did you did, London Sean did you never listen to us on the radio or anything you just found us on Twitch I I had I, I, the odd time I'd seen you on your talk show on on the radio, but yeah, yes. I, I wow. was on Twitch one evening and I happened to see that that you were on there, um, and it was quite early. I think it was how long have you been on now? Is it over? It's over a year. This is a, this is a, yeah, just over a year that we've been kind of doing this. Yeah, 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 and uh, yeah, and it's just it's just been brilliant. It's it's nice to have. Um, it's you know, I, I just like the fact that you uh, both of you are just. Uh, doing your thing, you know, and um, it's, it's it's a lot of fun. There's a lot of humour, and obviously, I like the fact that you also discuss a lot of things as well. That um, you know, mental health is obviously a big uh, yes. thing, which is which is doesn't get enough um, press. Um, and that was it, really. I did. I didn't really have much else to say. Just that I appreciate you both, and um, you know, I, I look forward to whatever you have uh, you come up with over the next year. Thank you, London Sean. That's appreciated. And from this day, I shall be known as London Sean. London, London Sean! Sean. Made a name oh, I want a party now. I had a feeling drives you. Thank you, London Sean. Did that mean you didn't hear the first caller that was rude to Catherine? Okay. I didn't system either. Is, this so. system is a piece of trash. Well, actually, maybe it's taking the, the trash out. I hate the system. I like Thank it you, London Sean. Um, 0203 286 6370. Jim Bo says it was July. It wasn't. When this show started, it wasn't. You'll move. 
your move. Have you had any band applications? Is this the same guy who was trying to convince you yesterday that St. Winifred's Choir was yes. a 70s yes. band? Yes. Just check. Could you reply to that and say, yeah, all looks good, thank you very much. Um, your move, Jimbo. Your move. 0203 286 6370 is the phone number. You can call in about anything. It's the only phone in show on Twitch. And anyone else that says it isn't is a liar and it's a piece of trash. And I hope that they, um, I hope that, that something terrible uh, befalls them. I was going to do something really exciting then. Oh, yeah. So I put a, um, a, been uh, an advert on Facebook, not an advert. I put a post on Facebook saying, I'm, I'm starting about, I dived in to the arena. Instead of talking about it, which is what I was going to do, I've actually did it. I've put a post on Facebook and said, I want to start a band. Who's in? Who's in? With a few jokey ones, but... I mean... Mm. So the band is going to be me on guitar and singing, someone on accordion. It has to be an accordion and maybe a bass player. And we're just going to do... We're going to call ourselves Bangers. I had, a, I had a much better name last night. I've forgotten it. So now we're, now we're called Bangers. And we just play sing-alongs. And all I've got so far is Ra Ra Rasputin yep. and um, Road to Nowhere by the Talking Heads. Um, so let's find the... Uh, got people, a lot of people are... Po here we go. Um, so I, here's what I wrote. Hello, all. You, you can call in at any point, by the way. Hello, all. Um, I am looking to start a band and I took out all of the bits that were down playing. Yes, what do you want? Speak. Go speak into the phone. Oh, no. Can't hear you. Goodbye. I'm wasting my time. Phone. Um, if you play some metal, would you be bangers and mosh? Don't even do that. That's quite nice. Uh, I'm me on acoustic guitar and singing. I took out all the bits where it was me down playing. I had band and all of that was gone. So far, I have in mind Rasputin by Boney M and Road to Nowhere by Talking Heads. I'm after an accordion player and a bass player to join me. This is on like a little Facebook, local Facebook group. Yeah. Ideally, you can sing as well so we can do some harmonies. I'm not a great singer and we won't get rich, but it should be a laugh and I reckon we can get some people to, to come and watch us. No time wasters. Then we, these are the responses. Nico Mac. I play triangle. Let's do this like we're in That's Life, right? So we're all going to alternate like they're doing That's Life. So that's the advert that was um, was placed online. Here are some of the responses. Nico Mac. I play triangle for a reggae band. It's pretty casual, though. I just stand in the corner and ting. Jason Flynn says, there's a guy who works for Three Counties Radio. His name is JVS. He would be a good singer for you. Jean-Marc Mojin. James Wooten plays the sitar and George Robinson is excellent on calypso drums. Pretty sure Matt Robinson plays a pipe of some sort. I think that's a, a joke about um, sucking on a peen. Could be. Yeah, it's a peen joke. At least it's a pipe and not a piccolo. Yes. Um, and then people recommending other people. Yeah. Um, and then a gentleman called Ben gets in touch and says, count me in for bass. Uh -huh. That's a definite. I said, really? Send me a DM. He sent me a DM. I've not replied yet because I'm scared. But Ben is in for bass. Sorry you couldn't hear me. Let me check my control panel. That was Danny Bot. Oh, Danny, Danny Bot. The microchips are calling. Um, so Ben is in for ba bass. I yeah. just need to message him. I'm scared. But then, then a woman got in touch today and said, oh, my, my dad plays bass. He's 64 years old. And I thought, and he thought, ooh, an old man why playing do we need to, Why do we need to know his age? But Ben is, I'm going to get in touch with Ben. Ben is in for bass. Right? Um, then, then some people said, but, but the key, Jim sent me uh, a YouTube link, which we don't click on. Ian Lee and Catherine Boyle are reunited for TLNA. Um, that's okay. I don't know why you sent us that. What, uh, we what does remember that do? it. Yeah, I was there. Uh, it was, it was yeah, here. I was sitting on the stairs. What's the point, Jim? Jim, grow a pair. Come here. Grow a pair. Phone in. What are you doing, man? D weed. Grow a pair <laughs> and phone in. D weed. D weed. I don't want to say dick on this. I'm really trying to watch my language. Um, so, uh, so we've got a bass player. 10th of July, show proper starts 20th of July. That's not what we were talking about. The guy said, you've been doing this for over a year. And we said, yes, just over a year. We've been doing this for just over a year. I know the show proper starts on the 20th of July. I wasn't talking about the show proper. Uh. I was talking about this. 
it's perfectly possible that London Sean saw this uh, in June or May or even before then. It's perfectly possible that London Sean saw that. So I'm not going to go, um, actually, London Sean, who works for the NHS and, and we, we literally owe our lives to, uh, I think you'll find it's not just over a year. It's it's technically, it's under a year. It's July the 20th. I'm not going to do that. I think what you're forgetting here is that Jim is a stat man. He deals He's with stats. He's a stat man. Stats. And so for him, stats matter. So we need an accordionist. If you live near Aylesbury, well, you can travel to Aylesbury and you want to come and play some... But that doesn't mean travelling to Aylesbury from Glasgow and staying over. That's not, that's no, not a thing. Oh, no, not mine. Hello? Hello, can you hear me now? Yes. Yes. Um, what I wanted to call is this, and ask... Is this DannyBot27? Yes, is this DannyBot27? All right. Nice to meet you, DannyBot27. Hang, hang on, let me just turn the TV down to stop any playback. He knows. He's a pro. Okay. Nice. What I was wondering is, like, I seen you as a presenter, used to be like, um, you used to be a presenter and that, and sometimes when I was, like, growing up and that, I thought yes. maybe when I'm older I could be a presenter, you know, do something like be a presenter. Okay. I sometimes think it, I could be good at that. What I wanted to ask you is, yes, like, sir. what did you, what, what, what did you do leading up before, like, becoming a presenter to, like, become a presenter? Like, I was, that's an excellent question, Danny Bot. 27, thank you. I think he wants to uh, become a presenter. And presenting's fun, man. It, it's a little bit harder. It's fun. I was doing, I trained to be an actor, but I couldn't get any acting work. Very funnily enough, I just typed, as, as that 11 o'clock show thing was on, I was answering some questions about for a Dreamcast project, and, and I typed this. Um, I was, so I studied at university to be an actor. I couldn't get any acting work, so I did some stand up comedy. And then I got an agent who was a dodge pot, but he got me a job in the radio, on the radio. Um, and um, it's, so it's kind of tough. It's, it was through doing stand up that I got a job, uh -huh. but I, I got a job on the radio. Would you want to do radio or would you want to do TV? I don't know. I just sometimes think I would be good at it. Just like, no. obviously, it helps. It's obviously. easy. It must help for you doing acting first. And stuff like um, that to get into that I don't know position. if the acting help. I think maybe I would suggest that in terms of my presenting, which I never wanted to do as a career, I think my acting got in the way because I found it harder to kind of be me. I had to be someone else. Um, but presenting's easy. It's just it's just talking. Hello. Catherine, tell yeah. me about your new album. Okay, I will. That's a nice haircut. That's Can I ask who styled it today? Yeah, me. I worked on it. it. Danny, it's really, it couldn't be easier. Just get on YouTube yeah. or do Twitch. There's an idea. Yeah. And then you don't have to wait yeah, for anyone else idea. to give I you mean, permission or job. Yeah, maybe I could uh, start off like streaming or something like that. Do, it. Bit, do like. it. Do it. That's a good way, actually, yeah. of, of, of getting your chops, getting your skills up. Um, yeah. And. Uh, Doing, uh, I'm, I'm already quite big with like the gaming community. I know loads of gamers and that, and I'm sure if I started streaming, some of them would like already pop Get in. Get in there, man! Do it. We, we'll yeah. come and raid you one day. The only thing is, I want to do it properly. I want to get like a capture card and like stuff like that. You know. They okay, can well, I can't help you with that. That like you got a webcam. A, well, that you're gonna need a webcam if you're gonna stream online, it's, Danny Bot Twenty Seven. Definitely nice talking to you. I, I look up to you, by the way, um, especially Ian. I look up to you. By the way. You can't look up to Catherine because she's so wee, but I'm yeah. a tall man. <laughs> Danny Bot, 27, lovely to talk to you. The London Sean, you can't make jokes like that. We appreciate the donation, but you can't make jokes like that. No, no. Uh, we missed Jimbo. I like Danny Bot, 27. I would, I would watch his channel on a regular basis. Jimbo Lena. <clears throat> Hello. Oh. Got a little bit of moisture <laughs> in my ear. <clears throat> yeah, sorry, yeah, yeah, just clearing, clearing the throat. Pete says, come on, you'll buy Nigel from Maidstone some shopping, but you won't buy Danny Bot a capture card. Unbelievable. Yes, sir. Great to talk to you, Jim. Um, Great to talk to you. Yeah, good to speak to you, good to speak to you. Thanks for the abuse. Um, so, the, um, we all know, everybody in the chat knows, that there was a missing ingredient. That's oh, why it's such a moment when Catherine turned up. Will Shows you... Work, good. Hang on a minute. Whoa, 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 Scott Dag, whoa, 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 you got my 
My legs got dick signed up to the six. six. I'm not doing. Why am I doing songs for everyone? I'm not doing songs no. for everyone today. And also, they're, they're really not very good. Don't give it away. They're not very good songs today. No, why? Not as good as Nigel Craft is the. Um, Nigel Craft is my new. Uh, uh, well, maybe we'll play Nigel's song a bit later on with the video because that is great. Mm -hmm. What do you, Jim? I don't get what the point is. You are adamant. Yes, the show show started on um, July the twentieth. Correct. He said, "I've been watching you do this for what? It's just over a year. I have been doing this for just over a year." As you saw with the last, <laughs> shut up. As you saw with the last caller, a lot of callers when they say you. They could just be addressing yeah, me, they, or they could just be addressing Catherine. But let's be honest, it doesn't mean both. They're usually ignoring me. So exactly. But you're both you're both there on screen. So you is the collective of the pair of you. Yeah, we end. know that, but we're not going to pull. But Danny Bot Twenty Seven said you're an inspiration to me, and then he clarified it by saying particularly you, Ian. He clarified it. Not everyone clarifies it, but we know, Jim. You've lost this one, mate. Catherine, you're an inspiration to me. Thank you. Ah. Oh. Thanks. Jim, you're you're a dickhead to me. <laughs> Thank you. Woo! Oh two oh three, two eight six. Gaz says this is a strange apology from Jim. Seems to be making things worse, isn't it? Um, oh two oh three, two eight six, six three seven zero is the uh, telephone number. I was gonna. My memory is awful. How was your um, weekend? Uh, it was a lot. Yeah. It was a lot, but uh, we got through it. It turns out my kids are amazing. They are amazing. Turns out my kids are amazing. And Particularly the tall one and the little one. That's true, the most amazing of your <laughs> They're kids. They're the only ones I officially recognise. How come? But every time you come round, <laughs> there are three children, one of whom is like dressed in Victorian rags and is like tra oh. translucent. What oh, that? that's my spirit guide. What's going on there? M um, M Marvis. <laughs> Oh, Marvis. Marvis. Anyway, so yeah, I, at some point I'll tell you what's been going on, but I don't want to at this point. Um, we're just getting through it. None of your business. We're just getting through it. So that happened, and then, um, well, yeah, we got the paddling pool out. We were going to get the slip and slide, but the weather was... I was it was nice yesterday, but we... Uh, um, it was nice Saturday, but we were out celebrating my birthday. Mm -hmm. um, so my birthday on Wednesday, just saying... And uh, don't send cards because I don't really the cards. Are, I hate cards can actually. I, don't didn't say it off the screen. Can I make an obs? It's the first time I've known you to be enthusiastic about your birthday. I'm not enthusiastic. I don't like cards. Normally, you don't want it acknowledged at all. State of my hair. It looks like Christopher Lee's week. Um, oh, uh, who cares? Who cares, man? It's uh, it's just life, you know. It's just life. Uh, we went and saw the Tom and Jerry movie on the Friday. Yeah. We went, um, we did an escape room on the Saturday where we were locked in the back of a police van. It was brilliant. Is this one of those situations where you told the kids it was an escape room, but actually you'd got them into trouble again? It was brilliant. We had so much fun. We escaped with eight minutes to go. Um, we had to get one really big clue, and I think it was a fault on their part. We had these water-stained pictures, and we had to look at bits in the van where these pictures were. Uh, I mean, God knows why there would be so many clues inside a police van of how to escape from a police van, but there were. And um, but the, we couldn't. There were numbers. They were linked up to uh, 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 numbers, but we couldn't find this. We had to say we can't find these numbers. We know what we're looking for. We can't find them. What's the code? But apart from that. It was brilliant. And, and my youngest, who, if you were watching the show on Friday, you would have seen my two kids on the show. My youngest, boom, boom, that's that. Boom, 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 straight through it. And we're they, all... They've done a few now, though, haven't done, they? So they know how it goes. 15. And then my eldest, the last three clues, my eldest said, that's that, that's that. Oh, this is this. Boom, we were out. I was like, what, what just happened? I normally slow down the escape room by going, no, no, guys, you've got it wrong. It's this. And it turns out that they are quite often um, right. So we did that. And then we went bowling into an arcade. It's well a fortune, money I haven't got. We spent it and um, we had a great time. We had nice. some lovely bowling. It was fun, man. You took the Pokemon pencil. Took the Pokemon pencil. They didn't have the Pokemon pencil when we went with the tokens. We wanted, to, they didn't have any of the stuff we wanted with the tokens, but it was fun. We had a great time. Good. We had a great time. 0203 286 6370. Call in about anything you want. Here's Alistair. Alistair. Morning. Hey. Hello. Yep. Hi. Um, first of all, uh, I saw the uh, the kids. Uh, in, you've got great kids. Thank you. And 
and uh, also uh, Catherine. Um, I've heard Little Un, and I was wondering whether yes. or not we can have more Little Un in the Patreon. You should be in bed. Please. I'm sure she'd be up for that, especially as the um, holidays are coming. But at the moment, I'm having a really hard time getting her out of the paddling pool. So um, if I put a few more flies in there and more grass, she might find it too disgusting to go in there. We might have a chance of getting some, uh, some yeah, Zen Den. But yeah, I, I definitely. And it's something she enjoys doing. But it's pinning her down at the moment. Yeah. But uh, yeah, all part of the show, uh, it sort of adds depth, I think. Um, now... Uh, I was just say to London Sean, thank you. London Sean sent a clean joke. It was about poo, but it, 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 that he apologises and we accept that apology and we accept that money with graciousness, yeah. graciosity, yes. if anything. If anything, I'm being very gracious. Okay. Going uh, from uh, young people to me panicking. Yes. I was on the international meeting, the uh, AA meeting. Ian, yes, sir. And uh, I've noticed that my boldness it's getting worse, man. When you, well, hang on a minute. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with the word you said. So you're getting braver. Why? Well, you're talking about your boldness. Yeah. So you're, so you're being worse. bolder. You're being braver. Oh, bolder, yeah. I feel what you're doing. Now. Well, no. I um, see what I'm doing is I'm picking up... A, all I can do is go with the words you give me. You mean bald. I think he might yes. be pulling him up on his Lincolnshire accent. No, I'm not. I'm pulling him up on his mispronunciation <laughs> of words. Baldness. Yeah. And I was also uh, shocked by someone got their penis Shut up, Mandy. Someone got their what now? What? On the, on the A meeting. I love it. If you do, so, not so much the British ones, if you do the American meetings, yeah. like the smaller ones, you will get people, actually there was one in the British meeting the other day. You'll get people coming in saying the most vulgar. There's, you, there was one the other day, it was a woman sharing. And um, let's say her name was, I'm going to make up a name, let's say her name was Sarah. It wasn't. And these, these guys, like three people came in. Sarah, can you get a magnum and shove it up your ass so I can eat it? Sarah, shove a magnum up your ass and let me eat it out. And she handled it with excellent grace. And they get kicked out as soon as they come in. And then they kind of lock the meeting. And I always think, you have no idea where my drug addiction took me. First of all, I would probably was eating a magnum out of someone's ass. Secondly, you can come on and you can say the... And I know it's slightly different as a white man on the internet, but you can... Everyone in this AA or NA meeting has, has been to places you can't even begin to imagine. Yeah. Some of us have been in prison. Some of us have slept on park benches. Some of us have sold our bodies to pay for our addiction. You coming in and saying, can you shove a magnum up your ass so I can eat it? Ain't nothing compared yeah. to where we've been. Wrong room if you want to shop. <laughs> Wrong room. Ain't nothing to where we've been. And I know it's different if, if you know, um, there's quite often there's some racial language. So if you're a person of colour or this, you know, Sarah, who was, you know, who, who knows what they're going through. And I'm in a very privileged position, but um, it was the chalk ice, Mandy. Um, chalk ice. <laughs> but uh, it, is, it is, I do think, Honestly, you got to try a lot harder. But you had a, you had an actual peen. Yeah, that's uh, less an AA meeting than an oi oi. Oi oi. That's actually um, advertised on his name on the on the thing was Amy, and then oh. he suddenly appeared. Yeah. Uh, a man and dropped his trousers. Gosh. And I, to be honest, I thought it was rude. <laughs> well, that just goes to show, Alistair, that you are developing as a human being. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, have a good show, guys. Thank you, mate. Nice to talk to you, Alistair. Have a lovely, yeah. lovely day and a lovely week. Those AA meetings online, I, should, I need to do some Flashing ones. is a weird thing, though, isn't it? The urge to do that, to subject other people to the sight of your genitals because you want to shock them, that's an interesting move. That is an interesting move. Speaking of genitals, uh, uh, hello, uh, Tim. Oh! <laughs> Love the mood and the tune today, Tim. <laughs> I can remember I got this. Mm. Yes. Oh, they can't hear you. Jesus. Hold, hold, hold the wrath. 
Roth. This Rath. thing. Hang on a minute. I need to go here. This is. I just do not know what is going on. Uh, I'm gonna have to do that on all of those. Oh. Uh, paste. Okay. They should be able to hear you now. Hit it. Hello. Yeah, we got gotcha. you. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, ten till one. Yes, sir. Friday, eight till midnight. I think I put eleven thirty. Well, uh, I tuned in at ten forty-five, and you were gone. When? And and you were doing the big seventies giveaway. Yesterday was Sunday. No, oh, Friday. Friday we were Friday we said eight till ten thirty. If you if you got the schedule that was emailed out, we're emailing. Um, you get the schedule that was emailed. I don't look at that. Well, oh, uh, so hang on a minute. You don't get it, but you don't look at it. Those are two conflicting statements. Did you get it? I would have got it if I'd looked at my emails. So you so it was so it was received. So that's a so you've lied. I didn't get it. Is a lie and a slander. That's something that I didn't look at. And you're about underneath your stream. Still says 8 p.m. till every night. We can't. We can't change that Be because we don't know. I don't know where that is. The schedule. Uh, maybe we should change that. Actually, that's a good point. Thank you. I accept that criticism. You were about to rebuff it, weren't you? Um, I was rebuffing it, but that's because um, I struggle with criticism. I don't know where. I don't know how to change that though. How, how, how would? I, okay, Tim. How do I change that? Right, exactly. You come on with all this, this stuff. I'm not a twitcher. But you're a dicker. I'm a, I'm a twitch watcher and I demand the hollies. Um. Right, for, right. first of all, the hollies have gone. Yeah. 60s well, hollies have gone. 60s hollies are owned by McLaren. 70s no hollies were available. That's Except, the ones I want. Yeah, they've, well, we're not giving away bands today, mate. That's closed. Oh, look at the fury. That's closed. It's not good enough. Well, the, uh, you're right. You're not. You're not good enough. Go away. Get off. Get off. Get off our show. It's quivering rage Ooh. right there, ladies and gents. Oh, I've gone off again. There, I'm in again. A new lead's coming today. It was, tomorrow it's going to be smooth as. Tim's teeth, though. I'm obsessed with them. They're beautiful, aren't they? Uh, they must have cost a fortune. Um, McLaren, them. McLaren, the 60s Hollies are safe. The bands are closed. The next stage you'll be in, it's coming soon. We're not going to tell you when. We're going to need a 20-sided die. Oh, God. For battle of the bands. The bands are going to fight each other. <laughs> it's, going to, it's going to be brutal. It's going to be brutal. We need a 20-sided die. Can we die. not just use the eight ball? Okay, yeah, we'll do that. That's mm, fine. Yeah. That's fine. So we, someone said to change... Right, hang on. To go to... No, that's incorrect data. Shut up. Where is the eight ball? Uh, the boys had it. Oh, yeah. for heaven's sake. There you go. So go to the channel. Customise channel. Yes. That's not where the calendar is. Oh, that's YouTube. That's not where the calendar is. If, it, if I go here and it's not here, and boy, oh boy, you're in big trouble. Is the calendar there? Donate, donate, donate. Oh, it is actually. Oh. Uh, thank you. Schedule, uh, configure. You're right, we should change this. So Monday, um, 10, uh, it won't let me get rid of that. Add, what's the point of doing this? 10, it won't let me add it. Is that because that's maybe because we're live? Okay, so Tuesday ad. Oh, why do we do it like this? This is fun. This is fun. We're doing admin all because of Tim. Oh, this is boring, Ian. Yep. Admin Tim. Yep, it's boring. Let's blame him. It's boring, uh, but it's Tim's fault. Yeah. Take it up with Tim. T t take it up with. Get, get in touch with that guy. We'll give out his phone number. I actually have his phone number. Yeah. And we'll give it Thursday, no show. Friday, there we go. That's fine. Save settings. Boom! You got you got a but show. Also, what's with the timekeeping today? So I've been pulled up for being yeah. late in. This now from Tim. People. Why are you so hooked on time all of a sudden, you guys? People are a holes. You're supposed to be at work most of you anyway. So shush. Um. So is Fleetwood Mac still available? Sam, are you listening to what we're saying? Let me ask the eight ball if Sam is listening. Mm, yes, definitely. Well, then you're just being obtuse. Um. 
Have we had anyone sign up to our Patreon? Today? What recently? Today? What's the numbers? What's the? I know we've had some people sign up. I want to know what the numbers. All right, let's have a look. Let me just um, get, get into want, the mainframe. We need, we need six fifty. Whoa, look at that. Five, yes, seven, man. Six. Five, seven, six. I'll update that. Listen, that's far enough away from 570. It's been hovering around there for oh, such a long it's time. It's going up and down. I thought that was our natural home. It keeps going up and down. To quote a phrase like a bride's nighty. A nighty. <laughs> Does anyone wear a nighty? I went through a thing of wearing a nightshirt. I wore one last night. It's too hot. Is it? I like a nightshirt. I used to have a wee wheelie winky as well. Oh, bless you. Was it cold? But I grew up. Um, official Sierra Tenga, can I? Right, can I have Ian Jury? Next per. Anybody, mods, anybody in the chat asks for another band now that. And I'll say it, that has ended. We're not giving away 60s and 70s bands. Come on, guys. Time them out. Time them out, please. Okay? Thank you. Wait for that first band. Tim says, I don't want an 80s band. We're not giving away 80s band. I have very little jurisdiction over the 80s. I'm, I'm in negotiationos with with um, Saw, Sock Aitken and Waterman. Um, they own all the 80s bands. Mm. Um, but it's a, they're tough, tough negotiators. And I, there are, it comes a point where I will not budge. I will not budge. Um, 0203 286 6370 is the uh, telephone number. If you want to give us a call, you'd be very, very welcome to. And you can call us at any point in the show. First of all, I'm apologising for that throat gurgle there that some of you may have picked up, especially if you're wearing headphones. If you're watching Secondly, HD, yeah, Craig yeah. Fisher has just given us a £2 Patreon subscription. Uh, and I suspect that's Craig Fisher. What is my neighbour? Hello, Craig Fisher. What is her neighbour? What happened? What happened? If it's that Craig Fisher, it's the Craig Fisher that often has to evict my cat. Ooh. It's too quick. Stop your cat crapping on me, guys. There he is. Crayfish UK. <laughs> um, Thanks, Craig. Thank you, Craig. You are very, very welcome. I'm sorry you have to put up with this living near. Also, the paddle you. pool this weekend. I know you were trying to have sedate times in your beautiful garden and my kids ruined it um apologies so we found a great musical talent some of you will have will have heard this last night you won't have seen it someone tweeted me shane ritchie eamon holmes gary barlow daniela westbrook uh saying i write songs and um i write songs and i listen to the song i don't click on links as you know but i listen to the song and i thought shoot I recognise this songwriting style. And then I remembered. It mirrored mine exactly. Did you hear it? Yeah. Didn't it? Mm. Um, well, I mean, it was slightly less blue than yours. It was It was more family uh, oriented And joyous. Um, uh, rather than being a fat, sad, lonely man, eating beans and, and playing with his uh, bits. And I'll, I'll play you some. But I won't play that, all of it. Spot on. I won't play all of it. Make memories to remember with your family member. So this is... <laughs> is that what he meant? That's one of the lines. Gosh. It's not what he meant. That's one of the, the actual lines in the song. It's Nigel Craft. Okay, let me get the link. I would love you all to subscribe. He's got 50... Oh, no. He's got 155 subscribers. That went up. I think it was like 40 last night. Uh, Neil Wilkins says, need you check the list. Uh, oh, who has the list? There we go. Uh, so let's have a little look at this. I bet you can't hear it on this one. So I'm going to add this, and then you'll be able to yeah. I hate, I hate OBS. I hate it. It's a piece of trash. Um, a family member. Uh, here we go. So this is Nigel Craft, right? And I, I genuinely, I'm not taking the piss. I love this song, right? Here we go. He's got a great voice as well. Powerful. Great voice. Here we go. So the intro's too long. It's old fashioned to have a long intro. Maybe he's making time for the song and dance man. Here we go. And woman. Celebrate your life. Live your life. Some voice. 
opportunity Don't let it pass you by Go on, don't be shy Jump so up This is my songwriting style something new Don't just sit back and relax There's a whole world waiting for you Make memories to remember July this is great, isn't it? I like the lights. Get up, get out, go and have some fun. Be loud, be proud, stand up tall, have a ball. ball. But the most important Born thing of all, celebrate, celebrate your life, life. Celebrate, celebrate your life. Life can be so if you don't let it get you down Keep your chin up and wipe, wipe away, away that the frown Just blow all those dark clouds far away That bit is great Chase your dreams and catch them Before they fly Here away we go. Celebrate Bring your life You will love Feel, Feel the joy, joy that life can, can bring. bring Don't be sad Get up, get out, go and have some fun, be loud, be, be proud, stand up to have a ball. But the most important thing of all. Everyone dissing his clothes, you go and write a song. He does all the music, you do the music, you write a song, you make a video, or fuck off. Oh. Right? Yeah? I just think it's a bit mean on his clothes. It's a bit mean. Come on, man, this is great. Celebrate your life. Celebrate your life. It's time to make some memories you will always remember. Something you look back on with your family member. This is great, right? This is great. This is great. I love it. Genuinely love it. So I wrote back to him on Twitter saying, this is fantastic. Um, why video if you're not going to put in much into the visuals? Time out, crayfish. Time out, crayfish. Go and create something. Go and, go and create something that's better than this. Then you get in the get in the arena. Get some dirt on your face. Okay. Um, so I wrote back saying I love it. How do, I want to collaborate with you. I'm a songwriter. I want to collaborate. And he's like, really? He said, and he said, the music is my strength. Uh, uh, lyrics are my weakness. Oh. I said, dude, come, come, come to me. But also, that sounds like a song. Well, th th then came up, I then came up with the phrase, music is my weakness, right? And I have, uh, so I'm going to write something and we're going to, I want to do a video like this, but we're on split screen and it's all, a, it's all, uh, I want it to be full on band aid. I want it to be, you know, this kind of vibe. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, like a couple of cool guys. A couple of cool guys, right? Yeah. I love it. I genuinely love it. And then one day we're going to do a live show and at the end, Nigel Craft is going to come out and we're all going to sing. So I haven't... Here's the thing. I haven't come up with the lyrics yet. I was, if you were listening to last night's radio show, and by the way, the podcast is out there for free for everyone. Go to our Patreon. It's there for free. I thought I'd put it out there so people can see what you get if you sign up to a 666. Okay. Last night's radio show, the two hour podcast is out. It's free. It's available at patreon.com slash Ian and Catherine. Go and get it. Because mm -hmm. you normally you'd pay for that. Go and get it. Um, and I was trying to come up with lyrics last night, but it dawned on me. I was basically kind of rewriting this song. Right. And I want to um, I want to come up with something completely new. Here you go. Here is the backing track as promised. I'm very grateful to you for showing an interest and look forward to what you come up with. If you find you need anything changing, I can always rework it. Oh, and I replied, it. thanks, mate. Give me a few days. And I'm, I'm genuine about this, right? Um, but as you know, my songwriting style is I just do it. I just do it. Just do it a little bit like this. Oh, God. And I call this music is my weakness. Oh. 
Saw you walking down the street the other day. My heart was melting, baby. I had to come up to you and say I love the way you're walking. Ooh, I wanna know if you'll marry me, if you'll be my bride and make me so happy. One thing I gotta say, music is my weakness. Music is my weak. It's another verse. No, it goes on another verse. I haven't. I'm not. I'm not, I'm not it's, it's, it's the vibe is is there, but I haven't quite got the lyrics. And if I think about it too too much, it's this, but not this, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got it. And I just have to say to you, you're my baby, and I love you. Another thing, music is my weakness. Music is my weakness. I love the sound of the bass guitar and the drummer's drumming. I love guitar and keyboards. Music is my weakness. Right. Here's everybody of Puzzle. Hang on. Can't stop it now. JKRXR, can Catherine control the mic levels? Do you Cough. think I have any control over the Here's mic the levels? Here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? Everyone's talking about the technicals and oh, it doesn't look good, and the technicals and all of that. We're busy making stuff. I can't. I'm, I'm look all. The only way I can tell if that is too loud, I can't hear it in my ears, is I'm looking at the the line. What do you call the line? The mixer line. The That's it. Yeah. That's it. No, you can't do backing vocals. You're not involved in it. Needs more reverb. I know it needs more reverb. FFS. This isn't the take. This is, oh, don't let them into the creative JR, process anymore because they don't deserve time it. Time JKRXR out. Time him out. I know, I know that one of his pictures hangs in my kitchen, but time him out. Time him out. Um, time him out. We're not, we're not having that. Um, but that's that's something I'm, I'm working on and something I'm very proud of to be working with uh, with some, with talent. Uh, oh. Uh, which, which is it's something you idiots new, haven't it? got. Right. No, he's the talent. Right. I'm, I'm no, I said new. I thought you were going to say, which is something new. Yeah, I'm working with talent for the first time there probably is. ever. There it is. There it is. What? Why are you taking that? Sub Ooh. Um, you can mix Big Boy into it. None of your business. None, none of your business. I'm doing this. Why does everyone want to get involved all of a sudden? Bill's Where had his fill of young males. I'm doing this. Where were you before? I'm the creator here. Right, we got some. Uh, we got some. Someone was asking for the, uh, the. That's the email. Someone was asking for the thing. Oh yeah. PO box eleven eighty one. Aylesbury HP twenty two nine te. Now we have got boxes. Oh. Oh this. Oh. Oh no. This is the thing. Right. You go for that first. Oh, well, this is for Ian. These might be birthday presents. They might be. But let's find out. I mean, it's very definitely not got my name on it. But if you. Do that one. Oh, you open it. Oh no! This one is this. This is this is for me. This is addressed here. But it says late night alternative on it. Yeah, sometimes it does. You know, um, you know when you like auto fill in. Ah, uh, you put it in. I don't know how it's got there. So sometimes I auto fill, and the late night alternative comes up. This might be. I'm going to assume that this might be a birthday present. So we'll save this for Wednesday. So really, we've we've just got. A we've postcard. just got a postie. All right, let's have a look. And I've read it. Oh, look, boring. Bogner Regis. To Catherine and Ian, hope you're both well. I know your picture hangs in my kitchen. It's a great lyric, to be fair. That's mm. not bad, is it? It sounds a bit like, I've got your picture. You passed me a pen and writer. A pen, please. It doesn't, it, well, it doesn't sound like so it. I know your picture hangs in my kitchen. It doesn't sound like it. And it it'd does. be a different tune. It doesn't it sound does. like it. It does. It sounds like a rawer version of that. To Catherine and Ian, I hope you're both well. As you know, we have been on our holidays to the lovely seaside resort of Bognor. Oh, I know who this is. Wish we hadn't bothered as it was full of sunburnt men shouting at their kids and making them cry. Should have stayed at oh. home. Miss their faces. You're the best. Love, Jenna and Jim. Um, P.S. All the people on the front... I, that? I did. I'm dead now. There we go. Thank you very much for that. It's nice to see. That reminds me. I was driving home from Windsor last week. It wasn't yesterday when I dropped the boys off. Last week. And there's a roundabout and there's a really horrible... Uh, it was like a fountain that's like off centre and it was for the Queen's Jubilee or something. It's horrible. Yeah. Anyway, it's three lanes to get around this roundabout. And I'm in my car. I think I have my window open. And, and I heard someone shouting... With such anger, I heard it in my car, and I, it was two cars away. Oof. Right. 
and there was a dad shouting at his kids and I heard it and it was a it was a it was it was a fury it was a fury shout shouting at these two little kids in the back they were little oh no. it was that horrible and I heard it through his closed windows and his wife was trying to calm him down the woman in the car I'm making assumptions here was trying to calm him down and I thought ah oh. so I did I did what any respectable person would do. I, I gave him evils. Yeah. But he didn't notice. And you closed your window. No, I didn't. I didn't, actually. I, I was prepared to have a word with oh, him. Oh, were you? I was prepared to have a word with him. I wasn't going to get out of the car because I didn't want to scare the kid. I, don't, I didn't know what to do. It was such... If, if I saw someone having to go at a kid in the street, I probably wouldn't say anything. If it was that aggressive, I would because it was, it was one percentage uh, away from violence. It, fe- it was a violent shout, right? And um, uh, so I stared at him. And then the only thing I could think of when the cars dro- drove away, I beat my horn. And what is that going to do? But I felt um, it was too much. It, I mean, it was way too much. It was, it was, it was obscenely. Parents shouts at their kids, not really anything to do with me. But this was so close to violence that I, I didn't know what to do. It was weird. Watching it, uh, you know, should I got involved? Probably not, because that's not going to, if anything, that's going to make it worse. And I risk getting a thump and they risk getting a thump. Um, but it was, uh, Russell, just back down, mate. Back down, please. I'm not, mm-mm-mm-mm. no, 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 no. I know your picture hangs on my wall, in my kitchen. What was it? I know your picture hangs in my kitchen, right? That's mine. That's my line that I came up with. And that's where it ends. That's where the line ends for you. The end of the line for you. Oh. Um, I didn't know what to do. No, it's horrible, that, isn't it? Yeah, it's horrible. Uh, yeah, it was horrible. It was, it was, it was a terrifying aggression to the point where I, I, I don't know. I made up a whole backstory, but 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 the woman in the car was like, all right, but just can you? Uh, uh, anyway, it was horrible. Well, at least she was doing something. Oh, two or three, two eight. The worst one is when you see a situation like that, and the woman or the person with them is like this. Yeah. Oh, we got a message. Hello, biggest. Here's a message, big boy. I just got big boy. I'm wearing a t-shirt. Look, big boy. Look, big boy. This is you. <laughs> Obviously. This is you. You put in. Um. Right. Let's uh, let's yeah. call this person back. Let's call. Craigie. Hello, Mandy. Mandy says, especially in public, you wonder what life's like at home. Yeah, that's the thing, right? Yeah, man. That's the thing. It sucks. It sucks. Um, let's call Craig McCarthy. What are you doing? Are you staying, big boy, or are you just going to stand there? Hey. Hello, Hello, Craig. All right, Craig, we are working up, mate? I'm awake, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, my dad. Uh, I got a question about... Um, July the 1st, obviously, your patron starts and all yes, that. Sir. Yes, sir. Now, you're going to YouTube, yeah? Is that confirmed now? We're, we're going to mix and match. The right. first show is definitely going to be on YouTube, but it's we're going to... We're going to... Um, oh. Yes, I'm away. We're going to mix and match. Yeah, because obviously on Twitch, you get the Prime subs free, don't you? You know, free to yep. the customer. Yep. Um, so, and obviously... The, all the following people that are on Twitch who don't really use YouTube or whatever. Yes. And uh, your friends like Emsy Place, who was shouting your praises yesterday. Yep. On, uh, she's doing that connection project um, charity thing she's become a member of now. And she was saying how cool. But yeah, I was just wondering. Who are these like, people? Yes. Because like, I like Twitch. Okay. I'm not, I have, I'm really got used to like YouTube Live. It seems. Um, okay. How long okay. you been on Twitch? How long you been watching Twitch? Um. Well, seriously, from when lockdown started. Okay. So a year, and before that you didn't use it. Oh, don't please don't give any dates out because Jimbo's going to call and go. Actually, <laughs> lockdown started on March the third. I know, but what I'm saying is that, that that was new to you then. Yeah. Well, I don't understand what the difficulty is of clicking on a YouTube link. No, it's just the communities on Twitch, like like with MZ Plays. And yes. Well, MZ subscribed, so she'll be here. Yeah, yeah, but it's, it's um, like 
you, you got your regulars, like, because obviously uh, I see people's names in here on the chat. Yeah. Uh, and quite a lot of them are in, like, Gatford's into Emsy Plays chat quite a lot supposing, as well. Supposing, supposing we got new regulars on YouTube and we increased oh, our oh, audience. Yeah, I'll be watching you on YouTube as well. Don't worry. Yeah, but supposing it's, we um, got, supposing we went to, the, part of the plan of going to YouTube was to see if we got new regulars. Yeah, and you could get a community going on there. I'm, I'm looking forward to getting into YouTube when you do it. But? Um, I was just concerned about the, the Twitch Prime side of it, because obviously that could be a good income thing when people have got it, a Prime to give away. It won't be great, but you're, you're right to point that out, Craig, yes. But it, here's, here's the thing, guys. Um, because of a weird quirk of our deal with Twitch. If you subscribe to us this month, we don't get a penny. So can I just suggest oh, if you yeah. want to subscribe, hold off until July the 1st. Hold off until July the 1st, then we get 50% of every subscription. But there are ways, you know, people can, um, uh, there's super chat on YouTube, so people can still do that. But as, as we said, we will be splitting our time between Twitch and YouTube in the hope that we can get some new regulars. Mm -hmm. We need to widen the gene pool. Yeah, it's going to be good. I mean, I'm, I'm looking forward to it all. But I, I can't, I can't do. I'm a two pound. Uh, Thank patient, you. That's you know, appreciated. Thank you. Um, so, but obviously, the, the what, what the free stuff is going to be great. Yeah. Um, yeah. But it's, uh, it's it's weird now because this length of time you've got like nearly a month still. Yeah. It's like the Danny Baker show when he was told he was going. It's like when he left BBC London. Well, you got a month of like. Yeah, we're not. Off. We're not going to kick off though and slag off Twitch too yeah, much. Know, not until we've got all the yeah, money. We, and we will get paid in like, July and August. I checked. Sweet. It's yeah. a month version of the Danny Baker show, which was amazing. That was I. Uh, yeah, I, I heard that show. I for those that know when Danny Baker got the sack from BBC London, he kicked off. I didn't. I. I didn't think I didn't enjoy it. I know a lot of people did. I didn't enjoy it. I thought it was unpleasant and unnecessary. But it's so rare that you go, get to go on air. After yeah, you because of that. And now days. no one ever will because of what Danny did. No one yeah. ever will get that chance again because of what Danny did. Yeah, I understand. He ruined it. You, you know, the show itself. Yeah, you, you know, he was sitting the middle management and all that. But it was still quite a show to hear. And, also, uh, well, also, also, and I've got a lot of respect for Danny. I think he's brilliant. Yeah, yeah. Also, he was having a go at people that were earning twenty percent of what he was on. He yeah, was yeah. he was belittling those people, and that's unnecessary. Yes, yeah, like off uh, uh, Dave Roby was the boss. Yeah, go for go for Dave Roby. Yeah, go for Tony Hall. Yeah, go for those people. But he was being rude about producers and kids, not saying producers were kids, but producers and young people that were working in the office, calling them drones and all of that, when it's really easy to do when you're getting 500 quid a show to right. slag off someone who's on, I don't know, 20 grand a year. That's fair, you are definitely right about that. I am right. But uh, yeah, it's all, you know, I'm, you know, from when you started doing that, uh, Patreon, because like obviously Danny's on Patreon now as well, isn't he? Danny's on Patreon. Danny and I've 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 had a look. Danny's got like about fifteen hundred, two thousand subs. Nice. <sighs> He's, He's getting about eight grand a month. Boldsworth on Patreon. He gives too much stuff that you can't keep up with it. Um, yeah, and that is that has been highlighted to us that we listen. Once we start on July the first, there will be less stuff. Yeah, I can and that, guarantee that. And that was more about making sure that there was stuff there for people who subscribed early. Yeah. Oh yeah. I mean, I, 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 I uh, subscribe to Ian Baldwin. I haven't looked at his stuff in a year because it's just too much. Yeah, but I, you I know, like I Ian. Ian's great. Because um, I like what he does. Yeah, but also that's that's another point as well that a lot of people don't get. We had someone um, email us anonymously saying, I'm not a member of your Patreon, but I've got a really clever way of getting all of your stuff and I'm going to release it for free. Right? And we thought... Well, okay. No, you haven't. And also, you don't understand how Patreon works. Patreon works not. It's not just people. It's not everybody doing it just to get the content. A lot of people do it like like you and don't listen for ages just because they want to support the artists. Yes. Yeah. yeah. You got to be careful though, because watch, watching the churn drove him mad. I, like when I was listening every day, right? You're going to get churn on the on the thirty first. When week, you say right? churn, you mean people coming and going. 
Yeah, and yeah, there's yeah. going to be a huge amount. Of well, stuff. we've, we've kind of a, already had a little taste of that. We've already gone a little bit. I talked to Pete yeah. about it. Pete, um, our friend but Pete, like, what's on the text? Don't worry oh. about the numbers. It, it, it comes back, but the churn will always be a problem if you look at it. Yeah, no, you're right, and we've already had a little bit of. Oh, they've gone. Oh, let's go. Yeah. You know, but it's this is new so to us. Are, the no, people that want to stay will stay, and the fans will stay. The fan, the true matters. fans, the plastic fans can can kiss my ass. Um, they can kiss my ass. Um, and the, the, but the real fans, the Craigs uh, of this, they, the, the, those guys are always welcome and will stick around forever, and we really appreciate it. It'll be all right. And, but the main thing is, Craig, we haven't got any choice. <laughs> if we want to keep doing it, <laughs> well, we've, it. We've, we've got to change the way we work. And so, again, and so that's what we're doing. Yeah, I know I like your picture party. hangs in my kitchen. All your friends just sit around bitching. Oh. The music is my weakness. It makes me weak. When Ian gave up stand-up and all of that, I was really surprised that he made money out of it. And he's even working with his mate as well. Oh, Ian Boldsworth, okay. Well. I was going to say, but that applied to you, <laughs> too. So it'll happen, you know. It'll happen. We'll, well get so, there. Something will happen. We'll get there. The problem is I've got, to, I've got to split it with her. Hmm? Yeah. yeah. Well, well, do it under Casper. She's not that registered. You'll get an extra 20%, won't you? <laughs> We're a team. This is my, my buddy. I'm not making physical contact because of COVID and because I don't have her permission. But we're a team. This is great. We're the greatest team ever. Um, since uh, I don't know, you name a team, and we're greater than those guys. Um, all right, Craig, thanks. No worries, take care. Bye bye. There we go. That was, that was good. I enjoyed that. Oh, we've got to play some adverts for the plebs. Uh huh. There we go. Oh, two, oh, three, two, eight, six, six, three, seven. Other things with the, the Patreon, there won't be any B movies. We're doing that just so that we make sure that we, we do our 60 hours a month. We'll be giving you less than you're getting now. That's the, that's the key. You will be getting less. We're gonna, probably going to do somewhere in the region of, I would suggest, 30 to 40 hours a month, right? which means the quality is going to be better. We'll, we'll, we'll play around with it. Okay? It'll be more concentrated. It's going to be more concentrated. Um, Michael Ward says, what level is it for kissing Ian's ass? That's for the £150. We've got three people who have signed up for that, and um, they have to do it on the same day. I suggest the day, and if they're not available, unlucky. The ass gets back. Uh, the ass case. gets put away. <laughs> the ass gets put away. Um, 0203 286 6370. Here we go. Now, one of our favourite programmes is A Place in the Sun. We love it. We love the new ones. We love the classic. Yeah. Um, we like the fact that people are going away. Chances. And they want to buy places that, for a lot of people, would be a, I'm sorry, I don't want to stay in this apartment for a week. But they want to buy, basically, they want to buy a box in some rubble. It's a free holiday because the number when people go, yeah, well, we've we've decided we're going to go home and we're going to think about it. You just think, oh, geez. oh, you've had a jolly. Did you want to buy or not? What I also notice is in the newer ones, they've recognised the fact that they're looking at boxes in rubble a lot of the time, and then they go off and they give you a little palate cleanser by taking you off to a millionaire's mansion, yeah. right, where it's gorgeous, right, but no one can afford it, and then they say. Right, back to the box in the rubble, and off they go. How do I get my hair slipped back? I wash it and put a hat on. So you do it. There's your hair hat. How you do it? Um, uh, so a place in, and I like this guy. This is um, Ben Hillman. I didn't know his name, but I like him. Uh, a place in the sun guests snub one hundred seventy three. It's interesting, isn't it? When you say a place in the sun guests a and get in the plural, it sits uncomfortably with me, but of course it's correct. It's also like saying, um, uh, there was a poster that I always thought was like just 60s hip slang until I worked out what it, it was actually grammatically correct. There was a poster when the TV series of The Monkeys started, it said, The Monkeys is coming. All right, The Monkeys show. Is coming, Coronation Street is coming. The Monkeys pop group are coming. The Monkeys is coming. Uh, I always thought, oh, and then it just hit me, not that too far ago, um, that, um, oh, I don't know what that is. I don't want to, don't want to see uh, that. The Monkeys is coming. Uh, Channel 4 is a place in the sun, saw presenter Ben Hillman desperately tried to impress married couple Alison and Lee. Can I just say, £173,000 for a three-bedroom castle doesn't sound like a very 
much money, does it? It doesn't sound like a very much money. Is it a castle or is it an outhouse? Guests, let's have a look. We're going to see a picture of it, I'm sure. Um, guests on a... You're absolutely right. There will be no magnum level on Patreon, DJ Black. Thank you for that callback. Guests on a place... Oh, I had um, a Biscoff version of Magnum over the weekend. Oh, oh my yeah. God, yes. Yeah, I love Biscoff. Oof. I love Biscoff. Oof. What is what is? I'm not Biscoff? even into lollies, but that... I've had a Biscoff milkshake. Yeah. Uh, they do... Um, we we had a, a Biscoff cheesecake once, didn't we? Didn't we? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I you love, can buy Biscoff's bread. I, uh, oh. I love Biscoff. What is it? We don't know. It's we'll find like, out it's like the bones of um, dead... I don't know, monkeys or the, something. The, 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 the essence of it is like slightly burnt sugar, but it's so good. Mm. Anyway, back to a place in the sun. Um, thank you, Wills United, for your comments. Here we go. Guests on a place in the sun turned down the chance to own a beautiful castle in Spain as it was too small for them. Uh, Biscoff McFlurries at McDonald's. What the what? heck? In the most recent episode of the Channel 4 show, married couple Alison and Lee were on the hunt for a property in Albox in Almeria, Spain, that would accommodate... Almeria. Um, okay, well, it says Almeria, so that it's their problem if they don't um, spell it right. Mm. Uh, would accommodate the couple plus their four dogs and visits from their six children and three grandchildren. They need to put um, something on the end of it. It's too late. With a budget of 150000 the couple stipulated they wanted a modern property with a garden large enough for an olive grove and, grove and orange trees. Presenter Ben Hillman managed to find them a castle situated in an idyllic location, which seemed like a perfect match. The proper, there we go. It's a flipping castle. Well, no. It's a castle-style house, isn't it? It's a box with turrets. The property featured a swimming pool. Um, wrap around garden with a grassy grassy knoll lawn. Nice. You're coming over to my way. Of plants talking. and fruit trees and a roof terrace boasting uninterrupted views of the valley's mountains. Now, often the views are just like wasteland, rubble, They're awful. Also, having lived in Spain, no one sits on the roof. No, you, you would die. have to be insane. What the roofs are for is for sticking your washing up and then immediately getting them back in as soon as you've pegged it out because it will be dry. That would be your face. Um, that also that you'll get an apartment with a sea view but the sea view you have to be standing and looking like that on one of your plastic see, chairs if, I, if you can't see a sea view when you're sat down looking out the window that ain't a view Ow. the impressive home was valued at just under 172,000 um, putting it out of reach of the couple's budget but as they always say we c you can get you can get 50 oh, grand oh and off. they do some of the cheeky asks and we go nah they'll never take they took that also, have you noticed on A Place in the Sun, they'll say, yeah, the agent said that we can go to as low as 150 there from put, that 230. Well, like, put that as the, the agent price. working for? Put that as the price and then we'll go under that. If that was the agent Play selling my house, I would sack their ass. Lee told Ben, it's so impressive. It is so much fun, but it's a little bit. So oh, let's do it. That's lifestyle. See, right. Lee told Ben. It's so impressive. It's so much fun. Okay, let's, do it, let's, do it, let's do it properly. Let's do it properly. Here we go. Yeah. Lee, to Lee told Ben. It's so impressive. It's so much fun, but it's a little bit smaller than what we'd like. Sounding shocked, Ben hit back. No, it's not, is it? Alison chipped in. Yes. Yes, it is. It's just two, two and a half bedrooms, really. Well, this is great. We should do That's Life more often. You're not able... What the hell? Stop this. You're not able to tell your friends you live in a castle now. Oh, gosh, where do we go from here? All right. But Ben had one more place to show them. I know. I've seen the programme. I know how it works. Uh, the fifth and final property was a beautiful three-bedroom villa. Alison and Lee immediately put in an offer, and after some negotiaciano, the villa was theirs for £168,000. Um... All right, well, it was too expensive and it was too small for the expensive price tag. What's the deal? There we go. And a Horatio Cummerband, number four, says in the comments. And good, good comment. Now that a hack has started watching this property show, we now keep getting reports of disappointed house hunters. Don't they get how this show works? It's a format that's been copied for some 19 years. Yeah. And then Mrs. Ted says, what a splendid... Oh, sorry. And then Mrs. Ted said... What a splendid, fun-loving property. But I suppose if you're going to be hosting a lot of family, you've got to go for bedroom space. And that's the house story. <laughs> <laughs> and, 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 
God. And, and, oh, hang on. and then that's the house story. <gasps> I want the mirror to start reporting on four in a bed. David found a pubic hair. <laughs> he took 20 pounds off. Oh, 203. The end of story. 286 6370. You know you can call at any point during the show, and it's a pleasure to have your calls. Not all of your calls, some of them are out. But if you want to phone up and say the show is shit, we're one of the few places uh, where. All right, if you want to do that. Uh, the schedule, by the way, people were talking about the schedule. The yeah. schedule has been emailed. If you go to ianandcatherine.com, uh, and go to the contacts page and then at the bottom if you fill in your email you will get sent a weekly schedule also get sent out to the patrons but you will get sent a weekly schedule now I know how to do it and also but what um, you have to do Tim is open it and look at it yeah exactly and also I will take off the bit that says um, template newsletter I do, I do it's my first time using this new system template newsletter what you gonna do um, what um, oh by the way no, I'm not going to say that. Uh, let's watch episode four, I believe it oh, is. Oh, yes. Of um, Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Catherine, while I look for it, could you could you give us the story of the Pleasure so Beach so far? Right. Oh, by the way, Amy Stokes. Hooray, hooray, hooray for Amy Stokes. She likes to hang out with girls and blokes. Yeah. It's Amy Stokes. Thank you for subbing to our Patreon. Struggling with the tunes today. Really struggling with the some tunes. Some days it's there, some days it ain't. I got the Monday morning blues. Oh. I'm a bit like um, the Brill Building. Oh, do you remember when we saw the Brill Building? We, 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 were st we stopped outside a building in New York for look at, like looking for something. I don't it was on know. the way to Times Square, wasn't it? On the way to Times Square. And then one of us went, I think you went. Yeah, I went, oh. Is that, that's the Brill Building. I went, no, 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 don't miss it. Oh, shit. Take it my picture. Is. We have pictures picture. outside the Brill Building. I mean, I, I don't. I think it, it looked like it was closed down. Who knows what's going? May, maybe, maybe Neil Diamond uh, and the ghost of Jerry Goffin are in there writing songs to this very, very day. Yeah. Oh, oh, Viper says, I thought you meant to send that as a header. No, no, no. I didn't know it was on there. I Here's think you should thing. stay on there now. I think it will stay on there as a thing. But if you get yeah, go to ianandcatherine.com. Also, ianlee.com has been hacked or something. I'm taking that site down and it should do. I don't know why it's not so far, but it should then direct you to ianandcatherine.com. I'm, I'm going to ask Matty to build something at a later date. But at the moment, it's all about the ianandcatherine.com. And I promise you, I don't promise you, actually, because I don't like making promises that I may not be able to keep. I am going... I'm Give gonna, you a strong... Assurance. Hiding, a strong assurance. I am aiming that we will have two. No, no, no. I'm aiming that we will have three new things on the merch. Yeah. Cameos. Matty's not here. I really need to speak to Matty about stuff. Cameos. You can you can book us to do videos solo. Twenty quid for me. Twenty quid for her. Oh, you want both? Thirty quid. And we'll do a little video. Anything. We won't be. We won't diss people. That is cheap. That's cheaper than I was charging when I was on Cameo. Um, postcards. You want a postcard? A signed by us. The address written by, by me. The message written by us. A tenner. We could do that. Hello, Joseph. Hey, Joseph. Um, and cause the cassette. It's happening. It's happening, folks. It's a happening. It's a happening. As we move into the new era, it's a happening. Mm, tell you what else is happening. Previously on Blackpool Pleasure Beach. Oh, go on. Yes, you, you do that while I while I. Try Jr. And find the it. manager. Um, has Get the bloody thing going out. Narrowly avoided a number of hair-raising incidents. One lost child. Get those bloody kids found. Sends out the pink police. They're not real police officers. They think they are. They're the park security guards. They wear a police-ish uniform with a pink checkerboard pattern. When they go out looking for people, and I'm talking about kids, yeah, when people gonna are worried about the very worst, this happens. This is their looking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do the shrug of the shoulders again. That's kind of cute. They also, um, not the police, they don't tend to, the pink police, they don't tend to get involved in that. They, they usually spend time roughing up youngsters and chucking them off the park. But uh, when the roller coasters break, JR is again leaping into action in his um, polyester action slacks. By the way, Trump's trousers back to front. I don't, I, is that, that was a thing. I, I know spent that more Scott time gazing at that it. man's crotch this weekend than is healthy. And probably more than Melania has in some time. But anyway, back to JR. You so see, he saunters did over. Did you see mm -hmm. that like, one of the heads of, of security in the United States posted a screenshot of their computer 
Right. Just just took a picture and said, "This is have a look at these stats or whatever. Yeah. Look at this email mm -hmm. or something." And then a load of people went, "Um, y you've taped a bit of paper on there, and we can see it, and it says it's your Gmail password. It's like the head of something. I don't quite know. It's the head of some sort of cyber? security. Is he head of it's cyber? something like that. He posted a picture of his of his computer to show to illustrate something, and there was a bit of paper taped to the bottom with his Gmail password on it." That's great. Um, no, I'm not on Cameo anymore. I, I took myself off there. Uh, we're going to be doing it privately through Ian and Catherine.com. Yeah. Ladles yeah. and jelly spoons. Ladles and jelly spoons. Yeah, so the rides break. JR springs into action, stands at the side and shouts at the engineers to get that thing off and get it rolling again. Uh, when there was a bomb threat, JR sprang into action. Well, he didn't. He sat on his chair and watched the clock. He didn't. While he was having... doing something else. He was smoking and drinking tea. A lot of fags. Smoking a lot of facts. So that's terrorism sorted. Yeah. Oh, also, there's been a, 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 an influx of women hoping to get pregnant by touching a statue. Yes, a statue at Wrigley, Ridley's Believe It or Not. So far, one pregnancy. But I think she touched more than a statue after that visit. What else? Oh, yeah. The ice dance, hot ice. Is that what it's called? Hot ice, which is not what really you want to dance on. That's water. That's boiling water. <laughs> yeah. That's dangerous. Anyway, problems with hot ice. They want to import a, a Russian coach and, uh, and and the immigration is saying no. Even when the uh, woman in charge of recruiting these people got on the phone and shouted at a number of um, officials and the local MP. Hazy says, Catherine, do you have this stuff written down in incredible detail? I just remember this. It's what I think about in my time off. Let's get in there. Let's mm. get in there. Pleasure beach. Oh, yeah. And someone fell on the backside in the show after saying that they All repeatedly the fall on their backside. The real, not real schnobbits. Episode four of six. So this oh, is coming is to trying an to end. trying to get pregnant. This is coming to an end, guys and gals. Okay. She's the shouty woman who's the daughter of the guy that owns it. More bubbly. Don't forget the lost kid. Uh, excuse me, Cubit we'll States. We started with Were that. Were you listening? Keep up, please. She's the woman that falls on her ass. Yeah, what do they call her? Ho uh, uh, frosty. Frosty Co -co 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 Cabana. Frosty Bum. Cockbongo says, imagine, imagine other folks spending their Monday morning not watching Pleasure Beach. It beggars belief. Mm. By the way, if you're listening to the full podcast of this, you £6.66s and above, do us a favour. Call 0203 286 6370 and leave us a message. Let us know yes. where you are, where you, how you're listening to this. Maybe you're out and about. Maybe you're, you're in bed. I don't know. Let us know where you are listening to this. 0203 286 6370. We'd like to hear your points. We don't want to hear your points. We want to hear your points. We want to hear your points. Um, okay, here we go. Oh. oh, I've jumped for it. Hang on. Oh, I saw the red arrows yesterday. Oh, yeah. Sitting in the living room, there's a... Yeah, I we heard... ran out into the back garden. They were doing the smoky thing. I, red, red, white, and blue I smoke. knew that, yeah, I saw that they were going to be around. I couldn't be bothered. i tell you what I saw yesterday. And I waved at him. A man on a hang glider. Oh, yeah. But with an engine. I think, is that a paraglider? I don't know what that is. Flying above the house, and it was really noisy. Was he holding on, or was he set, like on a cycle thing? I think he was holding on in like, you know those sleeping bags that keep you oh, yeah. like that? I think he was in one of those. I think. I don't know. He was, he was up Did he wave his... back? No, he didn't. Probably had to hold on. Prick. Oh, there's a Chessington documentary. Amy, are you in it? Are you in it to win oh, it? Oh, Amy. Amy's now my travel agent. It's going to be... We need to talk to you because we've got a plan. We have. we got um, uh, an Alton Towers plan. We want you to be part of it. Eight ads. Um, yeah, and? What's your problem, Game Boo? We have to do six minutes of ads. You didn't break your thumb at Chessington, Joe. You broke it at Windsor Safari Park. That's why I didn't reply to that. Um, what has she done with her thumb? She broke her thumb at Windsor Safari Park. She thinks it was at Chessington. It wasn't. And I, she sent me, I, I told her about this the other day, and she said oh, it, was, it was at Chessington. And I just ignored it. I didn't even bother replying to it. And I thought, I remember it. It was Windsor Safari what, Park. How did she broken it? I think she fell off like a picnic, ta a picnic table. Oh, blimey. Amy's in the dock. This is great. I know where I broke my thumb. Yeah, it was here. It was about here. And it was at Windsor Safari Park. Very, very close to asking the monster to tie my sister out. Very, very close. 
So at least not at eight ads in a row. Same. There's eight ads, Gamebo. If you don't like it, we have to do six minutes of ads an hour. If you don't like it, then I'm gonna. You can go. You don't have to stay. Or you could subscribe and then you won't get any ads. Gaz says, when this series is over, can we all go on a TLNA outing to Blackpool? Forty pound compo, but that was like. I was about six, so that was 42 not, years ago. It's always falling off stuff. I didn't get compo. Were, were you not doing something stupid on the bench, or did the bench just break? Um, 40 pounds back then. What? Wow. Um, I remember you ruined the day. Um, yeah, OK, right, onwards. To Blackpool. To Blackpool, please. Uh, can we have a day out? Yeah, sure. When, when we're allowed to, we want to plan some days out. We're going to have a game of tag again in Hyde Park. Uh, we'll do the show from your house. And, uh, we'll all have a go on a big one. We'll go to Blackpool. Mm. I'll break that bay. That guy reminds me of um, the fella from um, Emmerdale, Pollard. Yeah, Pollard. I like Pollard's Apparently wife. He died, hasn't he? Yeah, he died. In real life? No. Oh. On the show. Okay. Pollard's wife in real which, which wife? In Val. Uh, no, Pollard's life on. No. Kim Tate. I don't think he was married to Kim Tate. Was yes, he, he was. No. Yes, he was. Well, who was she married to then? Tate. Oh, yeah. Who's Tate? Mr. Tate. Mr. Tate. Mr. Tate. She was the sexiest woman on television. My mum used to. She, I think she did dancing. She used to walk around in jodhpurs and boots she did. and being mean. Didn't she do um, Strictly? And my mum <laughs> watched and went, look at her, the dirty cow. I went, you know, she's not really Kim Tate. <laughs> The picnic bench was stacked on its side when I climbed on it. It fell on top of me. I don't think I saw a penny of that cotton. Don't, oh. don't, don't spend that on smokes. Here we go. These are very, these are 15 seconds so far into Just the other another titles. email about another Patreon. What? Yeah, Michael Riddle. Mm, I got a riddle for you. I want to do what I do. His name is Michael. I'm not doing songs today. Thank Good. you, Michael. That is Good. appreciationed. Um, here we go. Let's, let's try and watch. There's no more interruptions. That's let's JR there handling, yeah. handling business. Can't bloody, bloody is the thing going again. <laughs> like for pleasure be. There's a 4 6 gale blowing off the Irish Sea. And Black Blowing off. Is yeah. taking the brunt. It's a particularly ill wind for the big one, the world's tallest and fastest roller coaster. Oh, no. Pepsi Big Max. We held that sign for a long time, which is good because I didn't know where my cursor was. How about watching Life of Grime next? There aren't many of them on um, YouTube, I'm afraid. We looked. Sorry, Pepsi Max Big One is temporarily closed due to high winds 235 feet up. Very specific. I don't think we needed to know the measurements, but no. thanks. Park manager Jim Rowland is on his. Oh, Jim, that's his name, Jim Rowland. All JR. Right. He is. Um, time my sister out, please. Three minutes. Um, he is furious. Get the bloody thing up there. Who cares about the wind? Makes it more exciting. Get it rolling. Yep. We see which mod is going to do it. Which mod is going to time my sister out? I'm not touching out. it. I'm not touching it. Jimbo did it. <gasps> Whoa, Jimbo, mate. Jimbo. I stepped back from that, Joe. I stepped back from that. Jimbo times you out. Your beef is with him. Your beef is with well, him. Well, you called it. Don't sh He was following hey, orders. Excuse me. Do you not know the saying, don't shoot the messenger? You're the that manager. Guy. Okay, all right. Don't so, shoot the minion. All right, okay, fine. You. So you're saying he was just following orders. Yeah. So all those Nazis, oh, I'm not saying you're a Nazi, Don't bring Jim, the Nazi into it. All those Nazis that were just the guards or just following orders, just the front line, those people, that they, they shouldn't have been bad. tried. They were all bad, but the person who had the idea was the baddest. All the mods, Jim, uh, Pete, Amy, Mandula, they're all, Mandula's laughing at him. Pete and Amy are shocked by him. Um, you just, Roger is shocked and he's a civilian. You're going to reap the whirlwind. Wowzers. I mean, she did lie about where she broke her thumb. Get things moving. There's really a major problem with the wind, only for when it's from the west. And, uh, it's so only when the wind is from the west, guys. The north wind, is that the when, south wind. Is that where Mary Poppins see, I'm not finished. blows in? Or the blows east out. wind, those are not problematic. Paisley's saying Pete and Mandy bottled it. That's another way of looking at it. It's another mm. way of looking at it. Today, directly west. So, somebody has to make a decision whether we run this damn thing or not. 
And I'm afraid uh, on days like this, it's down to me. As you can see, I'm very popular. Oh, yeah, look, he goes through a giant Pepsi can. Yeah. That is clever, Mandy. Beautiful. Well, I'm always on my own when didn't, I didn't bowl that. No one, no one calls out Mandula. No. And lives. <laughs> lives. <laughs> Clock it in. I Clock never it out. Have you ever clocked in? I've never done that card we thing. We used to have a clocking in machine in our house. We, did, we didn't use it, but we had it. It was like a big antique thing. Um, it was one of the, I should have kept it. I, when, I, when mum moved, I sold all of it. I'm not joking. Dad used to buy tap and shit, and it was a big old antique thing. And it never, I had to wind it up, and it was a real bugger to wind up. Um, and it was a clocking in machine. My sister would tell you, but she's misbehaved and has been timed out by a, <laughs> by a mod who's gone rogue. <laughs> Staff are still clocking in. If anyone says I was halfway through typing the ban order when Jim did it, I will time them out for lying, says Pete. Wow. Wow. Thank you. Jen, if you want to know what happened, Jim timed my sister out. Incredible scenes. Incredible scenes. You need to have a look at who you're sitting with. Yeah. The torch is on your table. Operations manager Lynn Satchel has to make sure that all the rides are fully staffed before opening time. I am getting a bit. Oh, Lynn's had her nails did. For the telly, the stubby pencil. Stubby pencil. Cares about the pencil. It's all about the nails. No, it's now quarter past ten. They're supposed to be on the. And she's had her teeth done. She she's has, yeah. Looking great. For half past. And I've got oh. 92. I can't tell you how nice it is to hear someone pronounce it half past. Half past. I still say half past. Half past. But I don't say how I don't say if I say do you want I don't say do you want half of this but half past has always been half past. Oh. I still don't hear you. About It's the yellow shirt gang, the yellow shirters. Birthdays for mothers. We've had eight deaths of grannies. Sorry, what? Oh, people uh, making excuses for not coming in. Oh. For mothers. We've had eight deaths of grannies. Uh, they do tend to die, grannies, don't they? Why is that? What's going on? Can we look at? Can we look into that? Why do, why do grannies, and granddads now? I think on it. She just is mine are dead. What is going on? Be mine. And I've got. Uh, yeah, none left. You've got none left. If you've got a grandparent, Jesus, keep an keep, eye on them. Keep them under lock and key because something is happening. I don't want to suggest it's like a murderer, or I don't want to suggest that, but something suspicious is happening. There's a lot of them dying. Uh, last year, actually going back to last year, one one lad buried his granddad, the same granddad, twice. Well, some of those granddads are persistent. Some of them, they're not actually dead, they're just sleeping. Mm. I feel better. Jimbo's just timed out my sister again. Wow, but that's a light one. Ten seconds, what are you, what are you doing there? That is, I did, not, I did not sanction that. No. Well, this is becoming a grudge. This is a grudge show, it's turning into a grudge match. Oh, yeah, yeah. By the way, coming soon. Battle Grudge of the match. Bands. No one, well, okay. <laughs> he forgot he'd done it earlier. Oh, on. I'd love to. We could do a grudge match. I don't know what you mean by it. I'll make something up. Go on. Grandparent death coincides with the invention of Wi Fi. <sighs> by the way, I don't know if Ginger Beard Mark is here. He's probably got a job. Um, we're going to be making some exciting videos. I'm going to um, uh, an anti lockdown rally. Mm. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. Anyway, they'll be riddled with it. I'll put a mask on. Yeah, I'm going to wear a mask. Mm. Oh, it's um, woo, woo. it's uh, a young Ron male from Sparks there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I was going to say Terry Duckworth. There we go. In the control booth, they're keeping a close eye on the wind direction and speed. Why is Jim talking to my sister? I can't see her commenting. Is she commenting? I might have muted her, actually. It's a westerly. And the needle is hovering just below 50 miles per hour. The critical point. Um, For the test run, they load the carriage... Just below 50 it's miles per 43. hour is the critical point. ...is with sandbags instead of people. What wind speed have you got? They're going to test it with sandbags. This is insania. 45. Well, send the damn thing there. There we go. Get that thing rolling. Get the bloody thing going. There it is. <laughs> Every time. Would you would you indulge me for just one second? I'm not gonna to do too many of these. But get the bloody thing going. That has that has to be uh, uh, that has to be clipped. 
doesn't it? But I think I need it. While you're doing that, I'm going to go and get um, get something going upstairs. But I'll be back in a second. Oh, we. I'm going to There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. I mean, if I get rid of that, and I get rid of that, just using Audacity, and then if I... Uh, there we go. Get rid of that. There we go. And then we email that as an MP3. This is fun. We're having fun, right? You're seeing a little bit behind um, JR going. You're seeing a little bit behind the scenes. Hey guys, a little bit behind the scenes, a little bit of the magic. You can still call us, by the way, 0203 286 6370. 0203 286 6370. By the way, Min Catherine, I'll, I'll tell her when she's here. I'll tell her when she's here. We've just had a little bit of good news. Just had a little bit of good old fashioned news. Thank you. I think Michael, we just said you, Michael, didn't we? Let me just send this. Um, to late night alternative uh, JR let's add this audio this is boring for you guys I know I know TLNA vids so it should be in there even though it's audio or oh, is it there JR going there we go sendy vous <sighs> this is life you know what I mean this is life Kath, I've got some news. Go on. Too Many Cats Limited is in existence. Yes, mate. We've got a limited company now, guys. We've got a limited company. Too Many Cats Limited is happening. That is a cool name, right? Uh, my sister's not come back since Jim uh -oh. timed her out. What have you done? Jim, Jim. you're a piece of trash. You've Too created a family riff. Too Many Cats Limited is our company. And it is gonna take it's, it's gonna take the world consensually, but roughly. Mm. Yeah. You bear with. Uh, uh. Son and Puffin says kitten news. Yes, I am are going to be picking up the new kitten on the twenty. Think six. It's taking too long. Let's get the bloody thing going. There we go. <laughs> Let me just tighten that up a little bit. Let's get the. Let's get the. Let's get the bloody oh, thing going. Oh, it's that's there. That's uh, ambient noise. Excuse me. That's... Let's get the Let's get the bloody thing going. Yes. This is one of those ones where you can't... Let's get the bloody. Let's get the bloody thing going. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. Okay. Um, uh, too many cats. Limited. Uh, unlimited. Get out of town. Um, right. Why isn't it unlimited? Is it... No, because because we're not flipping dickheads from the nineties. Idiots. When it gets to the top, give it... Andy Partridge from XTC Actually, there. we are dickheads from the 90s. That's... Just before it goes over the top. Just in case you've got to stop it. Stop it. So there are sandbags loaded in. Let's hope none of these sandbags fall, all gonna fall and out. kill an old person. Mm -hmm. Also, the sandbags are in the seat, so they wouldn't be affected by the wind. You're above it. You so be... you would catch the wind. Yeah. You want to get a crash test dummy, not the group. Their first album is a joy. Anyway. Once the train goes over the top, gravity alone will carry it back. A 50 mile an hour headwind will slow it down and could even stop it getting home. Ah, oh, so they're seeing if it will stop it moving. I'll be filling my trousers around about 48. No, mate. No, slow. mate. Jesus, it's slow. 45 and bouncing. Oh. Look at that man having a poo. Bouncing to where? Oh, you know they gave me a coronary then. Come on, you big Mary. What's up? It's just not me. Paul is here. Paul is here. Don't forget, when we're watching this, uh, dear viewer, you can still call in. I, I, if I miss your call, I'll call you back as soon yes. as I notice it. But I can see your calls coming in. 020, the number's on the bottom of the screen. 0203-286-6370. The wind did slow it down, and the train didn't make it up the last rise. Get up there, get it pushed out, and let's get the damn thing open. Mate, it's not working. Shouting at it's not going to make it work. It's not working. Let's get the bloody thing going. <laughs> Good morning, lovely, lovely. We got some great new clips. <laughs> we got some great new clips. There it goes. 
just give it give it up He's, give it up you can't fight the wind man you can't fight uh, Jesus keep pushing can we find this guy what was his name let's J I want him on the show let's J JR no but we had his name let's find it was here he's on his way over it's a particularly ill wind for the big one the world's tallest and fastest. Another day, another blatant disregard for life, says Jim. Roller coaster. Jim Rowland. Park manager, Jim Rowland. Can we find Jim Rowland? Let's go. I want him. Jim on the show. I want him on He's the retired. show. He's retired. Did you ever get a reply from the guy uh, you messaged asking if he was a baby? No, I didn't. And I checked it yesterday, actually. He retired in 2006, 63. 73 he's 79 if he's still with us and from that amount he was smoking during the bomb scare i suspect not suspect not. there's no obit though you'd think they'd make a big deal of it um oh no that's someone else he's on. that's an american yeah, different over to get things moving there's really a major problem with the wind only oh, we've, when it's from the west we've been here sorry i thought and, this was familiar uh, keep pushing Let's get the bloody thing going. I view it as the most complicated piece of equipment we've got in the place. And it has to be treated without respect. And sometimes it beats me and I don't like it. But it ain't going to do it today. Because I've made up my mind. There it goes. One go. I certainly am. Oh, it's horrible. Look at it. It's all, it's all wooden. I mean, look at the state of that. That is bloody awful. The fun center of the universe. With the big one down, it's important that Oh, he's in a care one. home. What kind of care home? Residential care home. Have a look. So if, it's, if it's just like because he's old. Oh, no, it's not that one. If it's just because he's old, then that's okay. If it's for, you know, people who are uh, uh, Alzheimer's or something. Mm -hmm. um, it's not that one. I'll have a look. I'll have a little look. I'm happy to write them a letter. Say, oh, you're a big fan. I've got an address. There we go. All right, let's write them a letter. It opens on top. Or if they've got an email, well, let's email them. From the... Uh, let's email them. Time. Lynn's out chasing latecomers. Well, we've got a busy day on the park. She's on truant duty. She's the truant officer. Flipping it, man. <laughs> They're going to be like these sort of 30 year old uh, men and women standing around smoking fags and drinking Tizer. I was on my way. Today, I've got a charge on Paul Smedley. Not turned in yet. Paul Smedley? A charge. Smedley's. Pink police on that. <laughs> Smedley. The Argosy. It's a hotel on the corner here. <laughs> Write him a letter. Just get it bloody done. <laughs> Let's get the bloody thing going. <laughs> Come on, Catherine. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm laughing and I don't know why I'm actually very sad inside I'm not sad inside actually I'm, I'm having a great time at the moment I'm having the time of my life by the way Jul July the 1st we get so much more freedom doing this and I plan to do um, like some a lot of retro to do some retro gaming on this channel that won't be behind a paywall Retro gaming won't be a phone in, won't be anything like that. Kath is welcome to take part, but I imagine it'll just be me with my GameCube, Pete, with my uh, Odroid, just doing some, with my Sega Saturn, just doing some retro, good old fashioned retro gaming. That's what's happening. What's up, staff? Normal gaming as well as retro. The normal gaming, I think, yeah, I think so. Primarily retro, but there will be some normal gaming. And and of course, the twenty pound patrons. When we do some gaming together, will be will get first dibs on coming and playing with us. Call of Duty, and Among Us is what I'm thinking. A certain amount of people that are late every day. Paul Smedley is one of them. Smedley is staying at the Argosy Hotel. We could play some... Jim, I was playing some COD the other day. Um, I might play a bit of COD tonight if you want to play. Not stream, maybe stream it, maybe not. We're having a problem. We need the cars going. We've got to get him in. Smedley, you piece of trash. Uh, it's Mr Smedley's room. I've stayed in hotels like that when I was working in Birmingham, BBC WM, uh, and they stopped paying for my hotel. Uh, I stayed in some absolute shitholes for like 20... When you're paying 25 quid a night in Birmingham, you're going to be staying in a shithole. 
She, how has she got into his house? Smedley. Into his room? Smedley. That's, uh, and also with a camera. Deadly Smedley. You're late for work, dear. Oh, wow. Uh, you're on. <laughs> That's a no-no, that. He's nothing on his bottom half, and he's what just you? popped out for the world to see. How does she get in there? She's got the key. How does she have the key? She's his lover. Or they own that. Oh, they probably do own it, yeah, but she's also his lover. But also, that's a huge in invasion of his privacy. <laughs> so I've shut it. I've shut the door. I can't be We know. We, we literally just saw you do it. We literally just saw you do it. I'm rotten to him, I'm sorry. It's like, do you know, one of the things I hate in phoning shows, you don't, uh, you do get it a bit. Um, fact, right, so I'm the host, okay? Um, I'd like you to make a point about Brexit, Catherine. Yeah. Okay, uh, we're going to go to Catherine, who is in uh, Manchester. Catherine, what would you like to say about what's going on? I'm just so angry about the idea that we didn't know what we were voting for. Uh -huh. Obviously, I did know what I was voting for. I want to get everyone out and, st and shut the borders, and I want to be able to go on holiday and work okay. where I want. All right, Catherine, thank you. That was Catherine there who's saying um, that she did know what was being voted for. She says everyone knows what, she was, what was being voted for, and she just wants to get on with it. She just wants to close the borders and get everyone out. Um, what do you think of that? The thing where they recap, recap. the entire fucking call. Yeah. I had a, a, a programme controller who was genuinely brilliant, Scott Solder, who um, was actually great and, and taught me a lot. I owe so much to him and David Lloyd. Um, but one of the things I disagree with him, he said, he said um, sometimes your show is too intelligent. We need to oh. go down to their level. I went, no, 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 no. They need to come up to my level. I had that They once. need to come up. Let's not dumb down. Let's not go down to the lowest common denominator. Let's educate them. And we will lose some people on the way, but other people will be going, oh, thank God, he's, he's talking at my level. And pe other people will learn. Yeah. But, but I had that once. Look how much weight I lost. Look go on, this. let's see. Look at this. It might not, by the way, it might not be an old people's home. I'm looking, there are some by that name. First of all, look at how far be... this belt has come what? out now. Right. That's me breathing out. That's incredible, isn't it? Look how much. I have, uh, it was 16.4 and 15.1. I'm hovering around 15.1. Hovering around 15.1. What shift did you think? I had a really big dump. Okay. Um, it was all about attitude. It's all about attitude. I didn't know how to eat, so now I just eat a lot less, and I'm fine with it. And um, we've been out for maybe once or twice a week and had like a nice meal. I had Domino's last week. I had a Domino's, but I got I got a medium one, and I got a box of fries, and that was it. I didn't get. I had a, actually had a Coke as well. I didn't get a large one with the garlic bread and with the fries and with. Tell the, you what I noticed last couple of times we've been out. No puddings. No so we weren't hungry. No we were puddings. stuffed. No puddings. Not always finishing off what my boys leave. And sometimes I finish off what my boys leave and if we haven't eaten together, I go, oh, actually I'm full, I'm all right. Mm. I, and it's such a big difference. Also, um, not eating. For me, I'm not saying, for the, I'm not, you know, if, if you're struggling to lose weight, please don't think I'm going, and this is what you need to do. This is what worked for me. Yeah. And we've been looking, at I don't think we've been doing the programme, have we? This I haven't been doing I did Noom for a month and it helped me just register what calories what are. It encouraged me to check what calories are in a meal and it just helped me regulate when I ate. But also, um, saying out loud that if you're not hungry, you don't have to eat anything. Viper says, Domino's, no matter what you order, it's £20. That's true. That is true. I'm going to go out this afternoon. I've got, I'm not a grown-up. My penultimate one, I'm only doing two more. And I'm handing it over to the collective. Mm. Um, uh, so after that, I'm going to go to Marx's. I'm going to buy some. I'm buying ready meals. I'm not really cooking for myself, but I'm buying, I'm buying a healthier ready meals. I'm scanning them in the calorie. I'm, a lot of soups. I'm eating a lot of soup, but nice soups. Yeah. Loving it. From the time of my life. Yeah. Anyway, it's not a judgment call on anyone that may be struggling. Good. Shorty, thank you. But it's a charm when you find something that doesn't make you feel deprived yes. or like you are um, changing your life for the worse. Shorty says, last prime sub. Just to say again, thank you for that. If you do want to give us your prime subs from July the 1st, we actually, because of a weird quirk, we don't get any money from the subs and bits this month. But from July the 1st, we will get 50% of all of your subs and all of your bits. If you want to give them to us, that would actually be really, really helpful. I know we kind of played it down a bit before, but that would be really helpful with where we are of the Patreon. However, 
if you decide, well, they've got the Patreon and I'm subscribed to that, I'd like to give my Prime to Vix or to Pete or to Sinjin or to Janelle or to MZ or any of those people, all music considered, that's cool. That's cool. That's all cool. It's all cool. But uh, they, it would be helpful. Um, yeah. Or Jimbo. Come on, Paul, we need you, dear. Thank you. I know everything he has to know about you now. I sexually harassed you. Yeah, out of order. I exposed I your television. I came into your room and looked at your penis and filmed it. That's out of order, isn't it? Cues for the big one are lengthening. JR's decided to let it run. Let's get the bloody thing going. I'm not standing there looking at it. Let's get him back. Head away. Move right down. Also, he's front of house. That's what people are seeing. Look at how he speaks to the, the customers. Get the bags out. Come on, not stand there looking at it. This customer, here's a, now he's going to speak to the customers. Back. Head away. Move right down, please. You'd say please. Two there. Fair play, the colours make it fun. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta play some adverts. I gotta play some adverts. The colours make it fun. And that's and that's to me is what it's all about, Catherine, is fun. Have you found him? Yeah, I don't think it is um, assisted living or anything like that. Can you see him through the window? Um, We're I'm looking at the Google images. Well, should we write? Is there, is there an email address? There isn't, because it's. I think it's his private home. But well, we can send, write him a letter. Let's send him a letter. Can I leave that to you? Can yeah, you, sure. Can you do that? Sure. Um, okay. Well, let's go. This is. This is. Well, maybe so. we go via the Pleasure Beach. That might be better. Go by via their PR or no? I would say. I would say both. Okay. Belts and braces. Belts and braces. Um, yeah, I would say both. All right. Can I leave that with Just you today. Maybe the. What, okay. Yeah. Why, why are you hesitant? Less intrusive. Oh, I don't think a letter is... I don't think a letter to a, a bloke in his late 70s... I don't think it's that intrusive. All right, fair enough. You, you'll phrase it in a very kind, we're a big fan. We are big fans, you sure. know. Sure. Let's get the bloody thing going. We've really enjoyed the show and, and we've got a lot of people... Would, you'd love to see what JR's up to now. You'd love to have a little chat with him, what he made of that, that show. You, I, I would suggest if we were any other show, then yeah. It's us, man. Yeah, all right. It's nice. We got it. We got it. If the train gets stuck while it's carrying passengers, JR... He looks like the guy that took over Minder and who I think was rude to me on Twitter. Oh. He was rude to me on Twitter when I was on Good Morning Britain. Um, you know the new Minder, not the Shane Ritchie Minder, the one in between where it was still... Um, the, uh, the guy from the St Trinian's films. Yes, what was George, it? George Cole. Cole. I met George Cole once. Very nice. They were filming Minder near me. Oh, we'll be faced. Gary someone. Yeah, it does look like him, doesn't it? it was rude to me on Twitter when I was on Good Morning Britain. Remember I used to be on Good Morning Britain? Yeah. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny? Gary someone says, my sister Gary someone says Alistair. With an emergency rescue. Webster. People will ride it, put their hands up. Cold for cat to win. You know, act like brakes. They'll be all right, I think. Guys, he's watching that to make sure you don't die. There's a strong chance you might die. So, uh. That's the good thing he does um, when in a crisis. He, he just watch and make sure it- No one dies. Just watching, make sure it doesn't happen. Yeah. But watching, just watching. No one dies. It's fine. Got it. it can't be that bad. He's not lit up yet, says <laughs> Viper, you're right. I don't think he can in the wind. It blow his cherry At off. The Pleasure Beach's Horseshoe Theatre, Richard Devere has arrived oh, says, for last minute rehearsals of his magic horror show, Mystique. I mean, that is a very Hang on. kind rendition. Sensational in, in, in singer, Bronze. Diane Lee Carroll. Isn't that Grot Bags? No. Who was Grot Bags? Oh, she was something Scott. Something, something Scott. Yeah. So we've got Mystique starring Richard Devere. Master Magician and Canine Superstar Schnorbitz, uh, Carol Lee Scott, uh, yeah. And we got TV comedian Tom Bright, sensational singer Diane Lee Carroll, Wayne Daniels, and the Stage Works dancers. Diane Lee Carroll, she's there. There you go. Uh, she's sensational. She's glam. She's glam. 
Perfect. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Normally, the show co-stars Richard's performing dog. What, Ma Mandy's... No, I don't normally click on links, but I trust Mandy. Visit Blackpool. What? Well, hang on. What have you sent us this for? This is pointless. Goodbye. I don't want to visit Blackpool. I do. Mm. Schnorbitz. But as a result of... I do, actually, but, but not on Twitter. ...a successful date at the stud kennels, Schnorbitz is expecting... Public. Can't walk, look. Can barely walk. <laughs> is any day now. Any day. Oh, You're right, Scott. Richard's having problems with his most dangerous illusion, the buzzsaw trick. A two and a half foot circular saw blade spinning at a thousand revs a minute. When you use the word dangerous there, dangerous illusion. And also buzzsaw. Huh? Will appear to slice Mark, his assistant, in half. Gary Webster fell on hard times and reduced to living in his car. He was kind of everywhere for a while. He was rude to me on, on Twitter. I don't really care. I don't remember what I, s I can't remember what was said, but um, there you go. Here we go then. Uh, I think I replied, "You're the guy that um, ruined mind us, so you got you got no right to speak to me." That's him told. Sorted out the dead man's handle. Sorry. Whoa! Man. Don't touch the dead man's handle. No. His handle. That's private. He has to push down on that all the time. And if we hit him or anything, obviously let's go. It's a safety. Okay. All right. Uh, I think they're revealing how to, this is the masked magician who reveals how to do the tricks. Remember the masked magician? Yeah. Dickhead. No, no, you, you've tied him up. Yeah. Just make sure Just that make sure the mask. You know, it's magician's assistants that do all the magic. Yeah. They do all of it. Yeah. They do magician. all of the pulling of the levers, all of that stuff. Magician's just doing this. Yeah. Don't do and anything. Then like, like magician's down assistant down is, down is the one that climbs in the box and all that crap. Yeah. Before I tie him up. Yeah, yeah, as soon as possible. All right, yeah. yeah. Stand by, please. To protect himself if things go wrong, Mark has to grip a dead man's handle. If he lets go, the <laughs> saw should stop him. What's a dead man think about that? But it's been playing up. Right, the dead man handle's <clears throat> playing up. I ain't getting on that. I ain't no, getting no, on no. the goddamn bus saw. The I'm thing that stops it, I'm out. I'm out. Thank you very much indeed, but good night. Can I play you a really good Ringo Starr song? Uh, can we do it after we've seen whether the man gets sliced or not? Or are we going to go? This is a cliffhanger. And now we'd go behind the paywall. Yeah, we'd make that jump. You got it? You see how it works? Um, I think this is written by Lennon. Right. This is a great, this is a great song. Um, This is funky, right? This is going to get us... It's a bit quo-ish. the first time the other day that's us dmca we played something connected to the beatles right back oh. Sorry, that probably bruised you now. Yeah, I bruised like a peach. <laughs> mm. hold it, hold it. You do that, don't you? It's not home. It's not home. It's not home. Stop, stop. We've sliced him in half. Mm. Oh, can, we get an, can we get another assistant, please? Yeah. One that fits his blouse, well, half a blouse. Just as the blade got to the danger zone, the dead man's handle kicked in of its own accord. Right. Okay. Oh, so the shit was, he's turned it off. Just, no. This guy bottled it. This, it, it just stopped. I honestly, I sweat. I'm hot. This, this guy bottled it. You test it with a sandbag, you would think so, Gaz. The there will be news. They're all on the big one. <laughs> well, no, they're not. <laughs> Kids driving is just ridis ridiculous. Everybody's turned up, and all the rides are in full swing. But lateness is getting to be a habit. 
Lynn's got some scores to settle. Oh my God, he the enforcer. Came in the other day and it overslept. Quarter to three in the afternoon, it come in. Don't you start disappearing on me now. He's going to drive off. He's getting in a sports car, which is, I'm assuming, a ride to drive off. Where have you come from, Bispen? No. It's, it's 10 to 12. He was sat in that time. You can't see this if you're listening to the podcast. There is a grown man sat in a tiny fairground car. Is that the one? Being bollocked. Is that the one whose testicles she uh, flashed I, I think this is a different gentleman. It's hard to tell. You're going to have to start making an effort because Keith's going to look at that shit and you're going to end up in lumber. I'll lose your job as from today. How many alarm clocks have you got now? Three. Well, why don't you leave one set all the time? But at least one will go off. This is a nightmare. Taz, Johnny, one ear and out the other. <laughs> JR's also got problems. At this time of year, the workers like to have some fun at the management's expense. Oh. This time of year. What is. What the, what's the time of year? By the way, Cock Bongo, you're about five minutes behind. The stream, and you won't hear this. This is I'm saying this at 11.58. Look forward to hearing what time you you hear it. The annual thing that usually hits me at this time of the year is masses and masses of soap suds put in the River Cave. Oh, it's the staff that are doing it. Naughty. I've been trying for seven years to stop it. Um, and I have a secret weapon in my locker which nobody knows about. And I'm just going up now to see whether I need to use it or not. Secret I don't think he's taking this problem no, seriously. I don't, I don't believe. I don't believe it. It's a liquid defoamer. Oh, liquid defoamer. The gym, please welcome to the stage. Great talent. It's defoamer. It should get rid of the damaging foam which builds up when the staff pour detergent into the water rides. Ah. They done it. That guy. He did it. That guy. Or Mike, Mike Nesmith. He's telling. Mm. Sir, look at this. Lovely. At long last, I've won. Oh. Keith, I love it. I've won after seven years. Ask him for it. It's starting. <gasps> Pollard. Like that this morning. They put, somebody's tried it. They haven't been able to get hold of enough. We put the anti soap in. Not yet. We've got it stuck around the corner. We I am too old to twitch. We have fountains in the city centre where someone fills with washing up liquid every few months. Great fun. It is great fun. They used to, they, I remember when they built a fountain in Slough outside the Queensland. It's gone now. Um, and uh, regularly filled with washing up liquid. A joy to behold. It's literally good, clean fun. A joy. Wonderful. Well done. That's clever. Cock Bongo's up to date. He's um, clicked live. Thanks. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, buds. I, I like big buds and I cannot lie. Mm. from stores for four months. That's helped a bit, I think. Yeah, I'm really pleased with myself now. My motivation is there for the day. The day's still young, the day's still young. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. He looked like the guy that was married to Gail Tilsley and then um, hooked up with um, the girl with dark hair. Oh, Martin. Yeah, and now he makes cheese. He was the only nurse in the whole of Manchester for a long time. Whenever anyone died or um, did themselves a mischief, it was always Martin, was the, nurse, the one there looking male concerned. Nurse, when it was controversial. But, but no, a nurse, hello doctor, I'm not a doctor, I'm a nurse. A nurse, but you're a bloke. Yeah. You're a bloke. He was, he was very, very successful with the ladies as well, wasn't he, Martin? Yeah, he's a good looking guy. Well. Nice guy. No. God help you, I remember who said that. They know who the guy is who did it. Why the hell haven't the pink police arrested and battered this man? Thank you, Chris Kirk. Appreciate that. Why have they not done that? He's often and at Richard Manchester Davis Christmas markets up. shifting cheese. Shifting in some parts of the country. I think in Northern Ireland. Shitting. No. Shifting. You don't want to be shifting cheese in front of people. Shagging. Mm. Is it? I think so. Am I right? Oh, oh. House, they're worried. 
Schnorbitz. By the way, 0203 286 6370 or Skype TLNA. The number's across the screen. You can call in any time. You want to talk about this, you want to talk about, oh, do you, you can talk about like COVID and that stuff if you want. I mean, I don't know why you'd want to, but you'd be very, very welcome to. You can talk about anything you want. Has retired to her own. Considering Schnorbit, they're only rich because of Schnorbits, putting her in her shed, admittedly a prissy one, is mean, isn't it? Do, do, do any dogs live in a kennel? You know, like a kennel that you'd see in a cartoon, like a wooden, little wooden house with a, do, a door, an oval shaped door. Does it, do any dogs li actually live in kennels? No. They live in houses, they live inside. Like Snoopy. Yeah, like Snoopy, that's it. Do, do, but he was always on the roof, wasn't he? Snoopy. Uh. Well, snip, yeah. Um, apparently, it's kissing, not the other. Uh, okay. Still weird. Yeah, you still don't want to be doing that to cheese that you're trying to sell. Says Richard. That's what the girls have told you, Richard, or the gentlemen yeah. have told you. <laughs> um, chalet. She's overdue and could go into labour any minute. DJ Black, a Canadian, told me that parking is a euphemism for snogging where she was from. Yeah, because they go and park, don't they? They go in a car and they park. Have you never seen American stroke Canadian films about... Come on. Here we go. I don't think they're suggesting they're parking faces. Pretty much taking the What's that phone? It's a Schnorbit's phone. Is it? Mm -hmm. I thought it was a potato. Looks like one, doesn't it? Or a dump. Potato phone. Is that like if you, you know, you plug, if you plug a clock into a potato, you get power yeah. to do it. Is that the same with if you like plug a phone, in a, a, a potato into the wall? You get... Um, yeah, definitely. What's that haircut, says Billy? He's busy. There's at least three haircuts going, going on going there. on. But she's not going to be in tonight. So... Um, she's not, oh, he's phoning in sick for the dog! Well, that woman's going to come out and bollock her. Yeah. What are you doing? Whip, whip the covers yep. back. Yep. Yep. It's just pacing it right up and down at the minute, waiting for something to happen. The vet has predicted as many as eight puppies. So the delivery could be taxing. Oh. I don't know what's going to happen because I've never been in sort of this position before. Um. Doggy position. Yeah, excellent. Thank you. Proceed. I can't. I just need to look. If you're listening to the podcast, it's great to have you on board. Thank you for being a £6.66 or and above. But you're missing out on some great, great... How do I take a screenshot? Because I want to take a screenshot. I can never remember. It's control... S, no. Control window S. Control window S. No, that's speech oh. recognition. Control window S. No. I can do it for you if you want. I want a screenshot of that guy. Well, hang on, I can just Google it. Uh, guys, how do I do a screenshot? Shift window S. Shift window S. There we go. That's... That's, that that's a beaut. There we go. Thank you very much indeed. That's getting uh, that's getting used later. I am told. What to are you Twitch, using it for? I, that sounded. For my, uh, a gentleman's pleasures. Purposes. Gentleman's relish. I guffawed at Doggy. Sorry for being childish. Please feel free. This is an entertainment show. You're amongst friends. It's not a family show. It's an entertainment show. You know what happens if something goes wrong, and is she going to be all right? Because I mean, that's the most important. It's the most important thing. Is whether I'll be able to make money if she dies I'm out Richard Devere is, is, is over also imagine those puppies are going to go for a pretty yeah. penny you hear horror stories and you know puppies getting stuck and whatever it's to be worried about in the, in the, um, in the bum hole they don't, they don't come out of a bum they come out of the bum hole no puppies come out of a bum hole and they can get stuck in that bum hole and that's all three million things going through my mind and show business isn't one of them at the minute that's not, what, that's not what your hair says. Hey, by the way, I compl completed It Takes Two with my youngest. We completed it. It's a great game. Really, really good game. We enjoyed that. We completed it, and it was fun. It's the second game I've ever completed, both of them with him. The other one was a way out, which is a bit too sweary for a nine-year-old. I yeah. find that really tricky. Yeah. I mean, just just yeah. managing the camera, I yeah. couldn't do. Or walking in the right direction. The soap bandits have struck. Whee! But we know who the soap bandit is. Arrest that man. What, Martin? Yes. Oh, I'd be, I'd be fuming. Some people Get that are, crap on me. Some people are allergic. Yeah. Get that crap on me. New Patreon. 
Who we got? Kerry Harris. Kerry Harris, thank you, thank you, thank you. You are welcome. 66060, you're going to get the audio of this shortly after the show. Imagine. We've been had. We've been got at again. Where's that box that he phoned with that was there this morning? I hope someone's Just in there. there it was. Mate. They've nicked the box of defoma, obviously. Let's get the bloody thing going. It's too late, mate, because they have nicked it. You can't just leave it there. He advertised that he had it. Dickhead. I want somebody's head for that. If I find out who's got it, they'll be fired. Nope. 25 litres of defoma in there this morning, I saw it. And somebody's stolen it. Not so much fun now that you're losing. No. It's not so much fun now that you're losing the battle, you see? Now he's threatening to fire people. Mm, mm, mm. For hijinks that I think he has been party to. Yeah, he was enjoying it. He was condoning it with his laughter and his smiles. Yes. What are they? Prime suspect is Dominic, the foreman in charge of the... Who admitted on camera earlier on that the he day, does it. That the day was young, yeah. Look at him also. Look, look where he's, he's, he's brushing that, right? Into the right. <laughs> on that kid. The in charge of the river caves. Oh, it, was, it, it was right on them. <laughs> Look at that last splash. Hang on. Look at that last splash. It's going in the boat. Have that, you. It's gone in the boat. The caves. Oh, cock bongo. Do you want to read this? No defoma. Sod's law, eh? Here we go. Here we go. Not guilty. Not me. You know who he looks like? Yeah, I do. I do. Craig Northy. Craig. It's Craig Northy, ladies and gentlemen. Let's get, let's get Craig up. Uh, friend of the show. Um, uh, guest of the show. No, he looks like a mixture of Craig and your new mate, Nigel. He does. Look at, I mean, Craig Northy is a, is a really good looking guy. right? And he looks cool. Um, which one do you reckon? That one? Yeah, but he looks like it could be Craig's less attractive brother. For sure. Uh, do I, hang on a minute. What I want to do is I want to bring... Uh, let's get this full screen. This make is, it bigger. Bigger still. It, I'm going to, but he's just, just going to go somewhere now. There we go. Right. OK. So now... That fella. We're going to make it... I want, I, want, I want side by side. It's the same guy, man. <laughs> it's the same guy. Look at that. It's Craig Northy. Text from Craig. Uh, let's right. How do I so shift Windows S? Yeah. There we go. We're gonna we're gonna tweet that to uh, Craig, who's who I I, I want to be best friends with because you know what he's working on right now. Is it Kids in the Hall? The Kids in the Hall reunion. Wow. Look at this. Craig, I mean, it's a niche, it's a niche thing. Look at this Craig Northy look alike. There we go. Look at that. Same guy. Same guy. Yeah. That's fun. That's fun. We're having fun. Uh, That's what this is, in, in case you're wondering. Yeah, yeah. In case there's any confusion, this is this is fun. Yeah. Hold on to your hats, your trousers. Can't tell you. No line. I can't tell you no, no lies. lies. What so does that mean? He's keeping mum. It's somebody. It's definitely somebody. I'll find out who it is. Heads will roll over it. Letting it out. One go. Well then, no one's going to tell you who did it, are they? I'm waiting for some more defoma. Because somebody's nicked that lot. Here we go. Here I found it. You found it? Not me the whole way out with it. Peter, don't bring it. Pour it straight in. Uh, fun I'll police have arrived. Because I've got this quick. As you can see, it's breaking up now. I lost the battle, but I'll win the war. Every year I've had something different to counteract it. This is the best one. This is nearly instant. I don't think you need to put any more in here. Dominic! You lick spittle. Oh, God, I want to know what's happening with Mystique starring Richard DeVere mm. and Schnorbitz. Well, he's watching a puppy's uh, uh, dog's bomb, isn't he? 45 minutes before curtain up for Richard DeVere's show. 
The vet has been called to the dressing room to attend to Schnorbitz. There's still what? no sign of puppies. Why is she not at home? Why did you bring Because she's doing the show. The show must go on. I thought he was... I You've thought, got I thought, no work I thought, ethic. I thought he'd said that showbiz was at the back no. of his mind. I thought they'd taken the day off. No. I thought he was going to stay at home and make sure she was comfortable while work he watched her orifice. Ethic. We've got 579 patrons. Can we? Uh, Brown Eyes Dolly says, can we get to 580 before the end of the show? One more. One more. One more. One more. Could be, uh, we've got a call. Could be a racist. Hello, caller. H hello, can you hear me? Yes. Hello? Yes. Oh, you can hear me, yeah? Yes. Come round, right? Yeah, my mate Stefan come round, I thought it'd be funny, you can still hear me coming out the TV, yeah, and you, if you can do, do us a favour, just say hello to Stefan, it'll be funny, I'll nope. see what he says. I'm not, well, I'm not going to. No. I mean, if, is he there with you? Yeah, he's there with me, he come round, he, he's come round for me, what, what we're doing, he's going to play a bit of the old, good old uh, fight night on the Xbox, so I'll play some, like, PC games, right? Right. I thought it would just be funny because he'll hear me coming out of TV. He'll be like I'm on TV. Yeah. Okay, well, he's he's hearing you now. So what is the reaction? Is he laughing? Is it laughter? He's just sat there, like, with his hands together, like, no, no, no. No, no, no. no. So is he crying? <laughs> he's, like, shaking his head. He's, like, he's not even saying anything. Oh. Is he dead? <laughs> I don't know, he's trying not to laugh, I think. Let me speak, let me speak to... Is he all right? He might have come around to give you bad <laughs> yeah, news yeah, or something. He might be having a Let day. me speak to Stefan. He's like shaking his head. Let me speak to Stefan, otherwise I don't believe Stefan exists and I'm going to think you're a, you're a lonely man with no friends. Uh, yeah. Uh, hello? Different voice. You what he said? No. That's what he said to you, Steph. He said Hello. I, I heard again. Out. You heard him, yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay. Um, okay. Well, thank you. Bye. Bye. You can call about anything. High jinks there. That That's was that was that was also fun. So fun comes. The thing is great is that fun comes in so many different forms. It can be watching a program that's 25 years old about a pregnant dog, or it can be listening to a bellend. It comes in so many different ways. Imagine if Stefan had come round because he had some bad news to tell him. And he's like, Stefan's, hey. Stefan's ill. He's got three months to live. Yeah. Hey, what's this, Stefan? I'm going to go that's on the Stefan's telly. Stefan's like, no, I, no, that's not why I came. Stefan's mum is, is, um, is, is dead. Mm. And uh, this guy, this joker, is phoning up idiots on Twitch and talking to them but you can I enjoyed that you can call in about anything it's fun bants it was fun bants um oh hello there yes hello um I know you two deal with like the big issues on this show the biggest issues is the issues is the issues issues, issues. issues. yes yeah and, and I've got a I've got a huge one um but I don't want Posting. to talk about that uh, um <laughs> I wonder if you can help me. Um, what, what should I have for dinner tonight? I'm, I'm a bit scared. Have a look in your fridge, you dirty, dirty fridge pervert. There's normally loads of cheese in there, something cheesy. No, there, there's not as much cheese. I've cut down on the cheese because have people you? keep saying it. So I'm beginning to think I'm a Why bit have you done your hair like Dracula with a widow's peak? I don't just, know. I've had a haircut just, and I'm not happy with it. It's a sunken fin. <laughs> But this time it didn't cost 33 quid or whatever it is you can uh, say. Pays your money, you takes your choice. The 33 quid haircut was a good one. You were happy with that? That's right. How much was, was how much was that haircut? 20 including tip. Okay, that's a, I mean, that's about right for a gentleman's haircut. That's right. That that's was about right. Agreeable. Yeah. But I'm a bit stuck. I've got like a mint and lamb pie in the fridge. Have that. Yeah, but I had, I had roast yesterday and it feels a bit similar. Okay, well, don't have it. What else have you got? Nothing. Have um, that. I, the, the rest of the stuff's in the freezer. I'd have to defrost it. Have you not got any eggs? Wednesday, Wednesday Adam's food. <laughs> you not got any eggs? You can make yourself an omelette. Don't defrost any. What have you got in the in the freezer? Well, I, I, I got um, uh, liver and bacon. You, you know how to defrost that that stuff. You yeah, put yeah, it, yeah. Okay, I was going to tell you how to defrost it quickly. Oh, no, no. Please, sorry, I thought you meant in general. I Baking trays. Baking trays. Oh. 
you get one baking tray you put the meat on on that you put the other baking tray on top you get a saucepan filled with cold water you put it on top defrost it quicker about a quarter mm. of the time i did not know that yep it's true i would have put it in warm water no 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 warm water or cook it you want to defrost it not hot yeah it will cook it mm -hmm doesn't work try it says, says Stacey I've tried it it works so excuse me can I try that and then give you a call back tomorrow let you know how it goes uh, no nah, I'm not bothered mate so, yeah alright yeah whatever I don't, I don't care goodbye we don't want to know what you're putting in your holes Ooh. goodbye none of our business goodbye this is outrageous behaviour uh, meanwhile let's get um, uh, I should probably I've got, I've got I'm going to do a stir fry tonight I might do a bit of sea bass yes right yes right. I'm, I'm hungry actually saying I'm, I'm really hungry all I've had for is a banana today I'm gonna go to the shops this afternoon I'm gonna get some food here we go oh god a, a that's like injection. when I the first time I gave birth yeah Ugh. yeah they say making love or having a curry try both of those things I'll, didn't have, work. I'll have the curry please thank you don't don't make love after the curry no ready to, to work so See if we can give it a kickstart. Okay. Yeah. No, don't kick it. Can I kick it? No, you can't. It's a pregnant dog. Poor schnobbits, I feel you. Yeah. Yeah. I've got some towels with me as well, right. just in case. <laughs> You're going to get it all over that shirt, mate. You're going to have shit and blood on that shirt. What? Who, who started the hot towels thing? Because <laughs> I don't know what that's for. You no, know, it's not hot towels. It's water and it's hot water. Clean and towels, towels and water, yeah. yeah. Well, the clean towels is to mop up the blood and the fecal matter. You might as well just. I, I'd set fire to that room and leave it. Yeah. There we go. Yeah. Right. Well, we don't expect anything too dramatic for a while, yeah. All right. Okay. So, all right. Thanks a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well. Wild. Look at that. What's behind him? Wild bird. Yeah, you know that's for the. The magician's pickets. Oh, uh, uh, could be actually. Next is a waiting game. Good about half an hour, three quarters of an hour, and see if this. This is a niche one, but he looks like Ian Morris, who I used to work with. This injection will produce any contractions, um, and then we take it from there. Oh, that poor thing! Oh, that poor thing! Zero, zero to birth in half an hour. That's why I didn't have your Try and keep a mind on the job. <laughs> That kid couldn't give a shit. This one here couldn't give a shit about bringing the sticks up. The most half hearted stick up. And looking at the camera, got all these, all these people. So this guy dead, her looking at the camera, him looking at the camera, her looking at the camera. He starts looking at the camera. She's remaining professional. Is she going to be professional throughout? Let's see. She's looking down at the drum. Is she gonna? Oh, she's giggling because she's on the telly. I'm gonna chat. She's looking. At she the, looks at the camera. Not one professional in this band. It's as if they're just a bunch of kids. Yeah. What is the, the, the what is the strap having the strap there? What is this? What coppers do? Well, you won't go back, will it? Well, why don't you have a strap under it's your strangle, chin? Strangle, yeah. We won't strangle. It's not. I'm not having it around my someone throat. It's grab, not a choker. Someone grabs your hat and pulls it. That's gonna choke. It's not. That's that. It won't choke the. It's gonna just like that, shut you up. That won't choke the. <laughs> That doesn't show the here. If the strap is like round, up, that chokes. But that is that doesn't choke. That's uncomfortable. Okay, I'll do it. I'll do it. I'll go. I'll do it. Just let me go. Jesus, I said I'd do it, man. What was that for? But um, no, no. Texting hadn't been invented yet, Hazy. Oh my God. Face paint. What's that? Look at that guy. That would be Hulk because it's green and a um, fish. I mean. Where we lay the down. Oh! By the rivers of Babylon. Here we go. Yeah. Don't worry, I'll get you down. All right, go on. Let's get the bloody thing going. Avocado Express. The Avocado Express, did he call that? The high speed Tocado Express. Tocado. Tocado. That's where Ocado got their name from. Tocado is the past in Spanish of um, touched. Okay, well, the touched express. Has stopped halfway round. Lynn's arrived to supervise the rescue. No. No. Not a chance. With a little ladder like no. that. No. No. 
no, 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 no. Strung out on heroin. No. They're only 20 feet off the floor, but it's too high for some. No, Me. Mate. No. Don't say only 20 feet because eight feet is too high. I remember I was doing some filming. I think it was for the one show. And it was, I remember we were at a railway and they wanted me to climb up on top of the signal. And it wasn't that far. It was 10 feet. I couldn't get up there. Couldn't, I got, I said, I think I can do it. I got halfway up. I maybe I even got up there, but I just said, I can't, I can't do a piece. To, I can't do this. This is horrible. So don't say 20 feet. That is high. I'm on this. This woman is my queen. I am on her side. She did not sign up. No. To be making that kind of vertical descent. No, 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 no. no. It's okay. It's okay. All right. It's okay for you. You're standing there. Look at that kid. No, I would. It, I would sue their asses off. Who was it who phoned up and didn't? Oh, it was um, Michael who got stuck on the zip line. It turned out some Friday, I think it was. He got stuck, yeah. stuck on the zip line at Go Ape. And I said, well, what compo did you get? None. Right, well, you at least got that session free and a six month pass. No. I wouldn't insist on anything either. I'd just be glad it was over. No, no, no. I would, I would say that could have been my bloody kids up there. That could have been my bloody kids. I want today free and I want a six month pass. We can't do that. Let me speak to the manager. I'm going, I'm going on Twitter. Hi, your sister, your sister. You're supposed to be protected her, not her, you. You're the big man on here. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Reinforcing let, that, are you? You let her down. You let her down. Don't express... You let her down, you didn't protect her. Don't express your feelings. Come on, you're not supposed to have any. You let her down. You were, you were supposed to protect her. She's protecting you. How does that make you feel? How does that make you feel? That should make you feel like a piece of trash. You're, you're a pussy. You blew it. Everything from now on is going to be covered by the shadow of this event where you let your family down. And on telly. And on the telly. So today this woman has flashed a man's genitals without his consent and reinforced some pretty toxic stuff on a child. A scared child. I'm too old to tweet. says, I've ended up reading about schnorbits. Please let us know what you find out. Ideally a phone call, but in the chat if you're nervous. Anyway, let's go back to the humiliation. Schnorbits is going to have sore bits. Oh. Well, Hold on. Come on, you're okay. Ready, centre base. It's a crappy ladder balanced against a ride 20 feet up. Ah, 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 I'll sleep here. I will sleep here until... Let's get the bloody thing going. That happens. You can... I'll tell you what you can do with this ladder. You can go and get me a cup of tea and you can bring it to me until this thing can move again. We've got been sent a link. Reasons to be schnorbits. One, two, three. I can't read that, man. That's, that's I can't too read. long. Come on, that's Come too on. long. No. Andy, it's quite important. We need some ambassadors ASAP down to the potato. Oh, they're all eating Ferrero Rocher. The ambassador. <laughs> <laughs> when they say ambassadors, they mean their version of Amy. Mm. Has to come and, and, and let people be horrible to her. <laughs> Just struggled on the top and it wouldn't go, you know, smoke was coming up. I'm just glad they got us down. I was all right, you know. Oh, hang on, there's smoke coming off it. It does it, but when you sat up there, it nearly... Oh, this. Actually, I'd be all, I'd be all right up there. That's, that's, that's not 20. That, that isn't 20 feet. No, it's not safe, though, is it? One passengers. There we go. Here we go. Team's in real trouble. She's hyperventilating. Scoob. Ambassador with these Scotch eggs. You're really spoiling us. <laughs> oh, I might have a Scotch egg. Oh, I love lunch. a Scotch egg and mayonnaise. And um, ga a gala pie. Ah! Oh. I'm having a. I'm going to the deli counter. Can I get a slice of that gala pie? No, a bit bigger. Oh, yeah. I'm having a gala pie some, for my lunch. Have you got some French mustard in the. No, I'll buy some. I'm going to go to the shops. Get it, get it, get it. Oh, when I was pregnant the first time, second time I was a bit more restrained. First time I filled my boots. Actually, I filled my stomach with anything like that. Gala pie, scotch eggs, sausage, gala anything pie. sausage based. Gala pie for lunch. Here we go. Last time this happened, the stream ended immediately. <laughs> You're right, Hazy. So well, tempting. We won't do it today. I've got, I've got, I'm not a grown-up meeting, so I need to stick around for So it will not be happening today, but... I'll be calling off for a gala pie. We'll post our pictures of our gala pies. We won't be eating them together. I guess you're going home after this. Yeah. Um, but if you get a gala pie, I'll get a gala pie. We'll take compare pictures. Pies. We'll compare galas. I think we made grand gala opening later on this afternoon. <laughs> this is the grand gala opening. Here. I'm an asthmatic and she's beginning to have a bit of a panic attack. Again, a little 
emotional when I see somebody like this lady, you know, she's having a panic. I had a fear of heights myself, so I know what it's like. I managed to overcome mine. Here's the thing, I've, I've had two panic attacks in my life, two real panic attacks. I can't remember where the second one was. The first one was, it was when I, my divorce was kind of happening and, and everything over, suddenly overwhelming. It was outside Oxford Circus Station. Yeah. Did I phone you? You did. Oxford Circus Station. And I had a, I, suddenly I just couldn't, I, I couldn't breathe. I, I've got no idea where it came from. I think maybe there'd, there'd been a, there'd, there'd been an argument maybe or something or a legal letter or something. And I, 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 I was just like sobbing in, uh, in the street and I couldn't breathe and I couldn't move. And I managed to get myself over to the wall outside. There's a little sign street just past it down there and just leaning up against the wall like this and I was I was awful and I thought I was gonna die you think you're gonna die panic mm -hmm. panic attack is not a bit oh my god it's you think you're gonna die and I couldn't breathe and I couldn't calm myself down and it was it was incredible so having one up there mm, mm, mm. with cameras pointed at you yeah no turn the cameras off ten minutes funny magic her down <laughs> yeah. Piper says, why is the truant officer there? Did one of the staff phone in and use the excuse that the Tarkido Express is delayed? <laughs> oh, mate. Oh, that is, that is text message of the day. That's beautiful. Well done. It's to show time. But Richard has only one thing on his Look mind. Look at him with his Louis. And now, now even is it Vuitton or Vuitton? I always thought it was Vuitton, but I've heard other people who have these things call them Vuitton. I call them trash. The vet I wouldn't have one of those if I could afford it. It's like a sign of, hey, check me out. Ladies and gentlemen, the vet today being played by Mr. Peter Townsend of The Who. To worry. He looks a little bit like that Eddie um, Marsden as he well. He does, doesn't he? He's good, he is. I like, he's, he's, he's brilliant in everything. Have you seen Dinosaur with yeah. Olivia Coleman? Is it called Dinosaur? Tyrannosaur. That's it. Have you seen that? No. It's good. Is bleak. I don't really like dinosaur films. Um, yeah, but they're 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 not really in it that much. The dinosaurs. Okay. Now, even the vet is starting to worry. Uh... Schnorbitz update. There was a third one. Apparently, the grandson of the original, but now there are none after Devere died in 2014. <gasps> Whoa! Whoa, Catherine! Let's get the latest on uh, Devere. Richard Devere is dead. This is like when me and my mate Malcolm first got into the Beach Boys, right? And uh, 15 years old, we got into the Beach Boys, really got into them. And we went to London, we went to HMV, and I bought a Beach Boys documentary, American Band, and we, 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 we're reading it. It's a great documentary. Get the VHS version, not the DVD version, about 30 minutes longer. And it said the band has survived uh, this and it survived that. It's even survived the death of the drummer Dennis Wilson. We didn't know Dennis oh. Wilson was dead. We didn't know he was dead. What a way to find out in HMV. Let's hear about Richard Devere. Died at the age of 46 while on holiday in Thailand in the, on the 10th of March 2014. Died after contracting pneumonia and suffering a heart attack. Well, hang on. That does mean that in this, then, he's 26 years old. I mean, it's a very... Let's be honest. Some of those hairdos of that era were very ageing. Viper, that's... I cannot read that out, but thank you. He wrote the Dead Man Switch Failed. No, he died. I mean, yeah, well, come on, well done. But I feel we have to be a little bit more respectful. 46. Yeah, no age that, is it? Poor lad. Poor lad. What's happening is the wound just isn't... Oh, I've, this is taking a sombre tone now. The sombre of my voice has changed. Contracting. It's not responding to the injections that we're giving. So it looks like that we're going to have to do a cesarean. You can't do cesareans on dogs. No, you can't. Yeah. This guy's a charlatan. They've got a womb, you can do it. He's a charlatan. Hi, Bob. Hi. Nothing's happening. Right. I think it looks like you're going to have to do a system. Put your hand up there. Put your hand up her bum and pull her baby out. That's how it works, mate. Uh, and that's why you got struck off. Yeah, it's true. So that's not that. The thing is, that's not the reason I got struck off. Oh. Yep. Who's this beautiful lady that's come to help? She'll be all right, will she? Yeah. Mate, I hate to break it to you, but I'd be more worried about your own health. That's sad, man. Mm. I was thinking maybe we could get Richard on. That's a shame, isn't it? 46. 
my Marty says he's 40, I'm 48 on Wednesday. What? A, I mean, isn't it's it? A simple thing. Well, I'm a little worried. I would have liked to have seen her contracting with the injections that we've been using. Right. So, you know, she's a big dog. Mm. I thought she's getting a bit tired as well now. She's, well, that's what I'm worried. It's not the time to say it, but you did this. You took her to get her pregnant. You didn't do it. It was another dog. Yeah, but I it, think. Was, it, was, I don't it, know. it was his idea. She had no say in it. Scoop from Scotch eggs to dog wombs only on TLNA. You're welcome. Brilliant. <laughs> You're welcome. You've got to sign up. More of this. One of the solo podcasts will be called uh, From Scotch Eggs to Dog Wombs, and you've got to sign up. to be there, But if it needs doing, you know, now, then I'm going with the show and. Bollocks to it, yeah. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Bob, I'll speak okay. to you, speak yeah, to you yeah, soon. Cool, okay. Get them puppies out and get her going. <laughs> <laughs> Here's the thing, if I was having a panic attack, I would not want someone doing Touching this. your face? No! Doing this. Look at this, look at this. He'd uh, be... <laughs> look at that. It was that from look, it's the, the two face strokes of this show. The woman stuck on the Takado Express is terrified of ladders. Okay, well, can we move the ladder away then, please? I wasn't expecting that. I wasn't expecting the my ladder. My friend's mum was uh, frightened of buttons. Yeah, my mum, I think, was frightened of paper clips, but now she denies it. Hmm. Even her partner is having trouble coaxing her down. The company compensates disappointed customers. Have you got any tickets on you? Not no. Are you got any tickets for any other rides that are high up? What are they going to do, like coax her down with a ticket in front of her? Mm. I mean, we're looking at quite a few each here, aren't we? Here we go. Brown eyes dolly. Reach in straps. This is great. You guys are doing all the work for us. This is a traditional way of wearing a hat in the military. They weren't in the military. They were kids drumming. In case a missile goes through your hat, the strap under the nose will not strangle the wearer and allow the hat to be discarded. Hi. A missile? Hi. Well, you, um, you didn't mention missiles. I said missiles. if your hat goes like that... No, you, you didn't mention you missiles. Strangled. I knew it was about strangulation. Didn't mention missiles. I knew it. Oh, not all paper clips... Clip, clits. <laughs> not, all, um, not all paper clips, says my sister. She was scared of just one particular massive one. God. Just, OK. So all massive ones or one particular massive one? Bloody hell, fire. How much we're looking at each? How many involved? At least 16 people. No, they're all separate. Clippy from Microsoft Word. Oh, no, Mum, you're talking about Scoop. Hi, it looks like you're having a panic attack. Sort of. Yeah. Get this group up now to King Cotton, get them a drink, and sort them out with any payout, any statement they want to make. Take them to King Kong, get them a drink, take their statement, and tell them to bugger off. Just calm them down, basically. Although she's back on solid ground, oh dear, the shot no, she's not right. Taking its toll. Get her sat on the floor. Sandy they shouldn't be filming medic. this. This guy is a fake. <laughs> he's not really a medic. He just dresses up. He's found himself in a really particular circumstance where he's got a job as a paramedic. You don't know nothing. Yeah, we'll send her to the hospital. I bet that's what he says. Call an ambulance. Is now on the case. I don't like the fact that it's never. It's always the pink police they phone straight away. It's always the, this fella that they ring. They never ring the actual people, just the people dressed up as them. That's helpful. What you've got to do is stop having a panic attack, OK? One paperclip in particular, says my sister. Wow. God. But bear in mind, her memory is flawed. She thinks she broke her thumb at Chessington. She might have, you it, know. She didn't. I remember it. It was at Windsor Safari Park. There was a bear there. We seen a big brown bear that day. You've been nice, you're calming them. Every one of them was fighting the bloody heights. I can't believe it. So am I. fine. I'm fine. And we're alive, aren't we? Aren't we? Please tell me we're alive. Otherwise... This isn't it, is it? <laughs> yeah. Foam me? <laughs> Get that foam on me. I will punch you in the nose. The bubbles I'm continues. ignoring you, Hazy. JR's gone home, but the prank Craig Northy. at it again. Did you do it? I'm not... No, I'm not saying. I've got me... I've got, they're all over helpers. It's more different rides, isn't it? What a prick, though. This guy's a prick, the guy that put the bubbles in. Grow, grow, the, grow up. Do your job. Grow up. Stop being a PR1CK prick. 
Well, it's actually a prank. I think it's quite funny. Oh, God. Just get on with it. There's so many entries in there, you don't know where they're coming from. Just pour it all in. JR's number two, Hi, Keith man. Allen, has to face the foam. Here he comes. It's not JR coming in, it's Keith Allen, mate. You're screwed. <laughs> <laughs> For those listening on the podcast, he just did a big sigh. And it rolled his eyes up into the back of his head. 19, please. please Bring some more stuff to the river caves as soon as possible. Do you know what I reckon? I reckon the production company did this. Yeah. Thank you. Have you got a brush? That clear? Hang on. Hang on, Dom. The foam affects the sensors which control the boats. Oh. Is one of them broken? Yeah, buggers up there. It's not like that's so funny now. You've buggered up the ride. Yeah, we're in business again. Good, good point, Brown Eyes Dolly. Ask your mum next time you see her if she remembers your sister's accident at Windsor Safari Park. I will. And I will ask the question. And I'm trained in not asking leading questions. So the question will be, Mum. Do you remember when we went to Windsor Safari Park and Joe broke her thumb at Windsor Safari Park? I think I do. Thank you. Amy gives us some technical input. The senses are super sensitive. Well, that's good to know. It's because they sense. Don't be rude about them. <laughs> <laughs> are you this talking about me again? Now. Causing problems with the ride. That's not funny anymore. Not funny. The people that have done it have probably gone home or they're sitting in a pub somewhere laughing. Hi, to base. Just to let you know, I'm shutting the river caves and running them off while I get rid of these soap suds. And while all radios are listening, I'll keep the park open until the soap suds are gone. So if they want to keep putting soap powder in and stay here all night, that's fine by me. Ooh. <laughs> To be honest, episode four is a, it's a little bit flat compared to the episodes why, we've had. That's why I think the production company are foaming it up. Yeah, a little bit, uh, a little bit flat. But we've got two more. Episode six is going to be a humdinger as they set up for season two, series two, which never came. The ice thing's gone, hasn't it? What happened to the um, try the the importing of the coach? Um, objection! Mum is not a credible witness. Overruled. That's my mum you're talking about. What's girl. happening here? That's my mum you're talking about. This is a magic trick. Look. <laughs> What are you doing? Just gonna... Oh, come on. Look at this bloke! Nah, you gotta do better than that, mate. You gotta do better than that. One, two, three. Meanwhile, in real life, someone's about to get flipping carved up. For her cesarean. Let us see it. Let us see it. That's um, Richard DeVere's chauffeur. Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, schnorbit. The size of the nips. <gasps> well, that's what you get like when you're pregnant. <laughs> Stop it. Dirty get. Oh, poor schnorbit. Let's see it. He's using the chainsaw from the thing. The well, dead man's like switch what, is not going to work, sounds though. Sounds like what we use on the chicken. Oh, it's, a, oh, it's, it's just a, a wall. I don't like this juxtaposition. <laughs> We surely they're going to show us the the buzz saw. Right? They're going to do it, aren't they? Oh, it's a trick. <laughs> trick face. He's doing. He's not. That's not. You know whose face that is. <laughs> you wanna be in my gang, my gang, my gang. He's done his glitter face. Look at the eyes. Oh yeah. Yeah. Fries and pies. The Catherine Boyle story. Oh, I was talking to the kids about um, pie and chips the other, day, the other day. They think it sounds disgusting. <laughs> They're going to learn. Cop oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Meat, Cop meat and potato pie, chips and gravy. You loved it, it didn't you? It was something. I'm so glad you introduced me to that. Cop bunker. Here's a reference for some of you. The end of episode six will surely be a close up of JR relaxing at home, suddenly looking at the camera, startled, saying, We have to go back. Cut to credits. Lovely little lost reference there. <laughs> the woman from the Tocado has been transferred to the park's King Cotton pub. Oh, They're bribing Kong. it with chips and booze. Not a King Kong, King Cotton. My first thought was, is it just going to explode into flames? Okay, well, you're, you know, you're being silly. 
We were on your side, but it now you're being... Smo- it was smoking. She's being silly. It was smoking. Yeah, she was being silly. Poor Jess thought she was going to die. And they decided to get a ladder. I lost the sun through falling off of the ladder. Oh, jeez, Louise. That'll do it. There we go. There we go, ladies and gentlemen. There we go. So they petrify me. If you want to make any customer comments, I want to make yeah. a complaint. Yeah. Do you want to make? Do you want to make any comments? Complaint, man. Oh, I've got some comments. I came up here for a break to help me with my nerves. I can understand that. And this has set me back years. Well. Well, 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 well. I would suggest that going on adrenaline fueled thrill rides might not be the best way to relax. She's on a holiday. She's trying to get over a son that fell off a ladder and died. Well, she said he died on a ladder. We don't know how long ago. We that don't was. know. We also don't know what that means. Did he have a heart attack? Was he shot? But you can totally understand what this, this woman's thing. You complain and you get. Let's see what compo she gets. Are we still doing the lost watch along? Yeah, well, come July, I'd like to. Snakes aren't magic, by the way. I've got one next door. I bring, I bring Swavy in. He's massive now. I'm massive. He's that big. But he's bigger than he was. I'll bring Swavy in maybe tomorrow. It's time to put the erratic dead man's handle to the test. Here we go. We're going to see uh, Schnobbit's getting cut open. <laughs> the faces. <laughs> Oh, they really are, aren't they? Oh, he's more than a worm, Manly. I mean, he's still tiny, but he's he's a lot bigger than he was. Come on, cut back. Here we go, cut back. This is what we want. This is great. Cut back quicker, quicker, quicker. This is 290s. Oh, you dirty Dirty bugger. (laughs) Blood is TOS, says Rob. Thank you. Luckily, we're just seeing tomato ketchup at the moment. Yeah, maybe... um, Okay. (laughs) The miracle of birth there. 20 minutes into the cesarean. Puppy. The first pop is delivered. That is amazing. Mm. As soon as the pups are born, they need vigorous rubbing to push out the fluid from their lungs and get them breathing. Poor little darling. That puppy's dead now. Yeah, the puppy is dead now. You're absolutely right. It's clear water at the river caves. Been right. dead probably about ten years. That's the last of the defoma. What's this voice? That's the like. He doesn't want any. That's he doesn't the want the culprits. The doesn't want the culprits oh, to it's know. Oh, a secret mouth. Because they're so nice to last, they'll put some more in. So Ixnay on, on the Ephoma day. <laughs> He's got a little Popeye mouth. They know. To tell the secret, Charlie. <laughs> I don't know who's putting it in. They're putting it in. They've literally confessed to it on camera. <laughs> They've done it. But whoever it is has been at it all day, haven't they? So it must be somebody that came this morning and is still here now. Could be like him. You. Who is it? I don't know, please. They must have put gallons and gallons and gallons in. He's the only bloke working on this ride all day. <laughs> Today, we've got to go on that mix, yeah. Because, I mean, we've put a lot of anti-foaming. Stop Rock, telling him your secrets! No, I'll let you into a secret. We haven't got any more. So, if this person... It would, it's just, we haven't got any more, all right? No one. What? The last lot going in or the last lot of anti-foam? Anti-foam. Well, we've got tons more anti-foam. It's just like a war, isn't it, really? It's, it's a war that nobody's going to win. It's a war of dickheads, which, let's be honest, most wars actually are. Yeah. It's a draw, then, isn't it? It's a draw. We're going to call it a draw, then? Yeah. OK, Zero. then. Zero. Hang it's on, dr- he's just tricked them. They've just spoken for the co- collective. Yes, no, yes, no, no, yes. Aha! Gotcha. Draw. draw. There's always another year, isn't there? Yeah. Why is it about this day? 
What is this day? We don't know what this phone day, day is. Phone day. Okay. <laughs> Another year, different staff. Yeah. Oh. Same problem. Yeah. Craig. Seven puppies have now been born. Oh. But number eight is in trouble. It's got fluid in its lungs and shows no sign of life. Oh, no. Banging it on the floor ain't going to do it. Oh. Eight is a lot. Eight is a lot. Oh, it's moving. She's giving the kiss of life. Yes! Absolute star. Good for her. Not now, Clinton. No. We lost one. We lost one. Look at that. Giving the dog kiss of life magic. What a, what, a, what a wonderful human being. At last, number eight has responded to Yay! Me. Now, Richard can take over. <laughs> Rub that puppy and get it going. <laughs> All right, Cass, maybe after the show. <laughs> I normally need a little bit of help. What's going on here? Naughty girl. Naughty girl. Like oh. Over panic attacks. Is that... Shows you what stress Is that an official treatment, that? I've never heard that one before. No, oh, doesn't it? I'm going to have to go now. Okay. Well, all right, then. Yeah. Whoa! Oh, turn about. See you. Well, I've got to get you, Jessica. What a state. Thick and fast. It's a new rug, isn't it? <laughs> now there are 15. I had to bin my slippers. Sorry. Did you... Whoa, whoa! You missed that. Hang on. The pups have been coming thick and fast. Now there are 15. Oh, Schnorbit. Is he doing a magic trick and just pulling them out <laughs> with the eyes? <laughs> 15. And they're all doing well. Shut up! <laughs> yeah, no wonder she was struggling, Sarah. Fifteen. That's a lot of puppies. Schnorbitz is exhausted, but she makes a full recovery. Schnorbitz is shagged. <laughs> The battle of the river caves is over, and the soap bandits have won. With no fuck, oh, jeez, I bet it's like it's like um, touring with Keith Moon. Yeah, really just annoying. So okay, annoying. Okay, the first time, nice one. We get it. All right, you, you came in and you stuck everything in my hotel room on the ceilings. So, okay, fine. All right, okay, you trashed this up. Just can we just go to sleep? <laughs> it's going to be a long night for Keith. <laughs> the looks. Next week, the Mexican high divers face up to an empty. Oh, they need some water in that. Dude, there's no water. <laughs> Boyzone are called in to. Hey! Oh, he's going to sing Lovers Roller Coaster. Why does he always sound like he's eating bread? I met him. He's a Roll, nice guy. I like bread. Do you remember when we went on the plane and he was late? And it caused the stewardess to say something uh, quite naughty yeah, in front of us, really and then hurt. she brought the sweets to keep us quiet. Yeah, yeah. She said oh, she preferred me as a celebrity over him. Called in to help the new ride take off, and Jr. Who's that in the middle? Is that one of is that one of boys own or is that an old lady? It's an old lady. Ah, oh, Stephen Gately, dead now. I know. Yeah, shame, isn't it? And Jr. confronts the wheelchair protesters. Because. Let's get the bloody thing going. <laughs> wow. Episode five is going to be a doozy. Uh, led by, uh, looks like one of the Bee Gees. Wowzers. That is going to be something else. Now, quite often we see the beginning. Next is tonight on BBC One, Inside the Millennium Dome, an exclusive report on Panorama. In what a dump it was. Um, we're going to see the beginning of episode five. So let's just watch that. Just a moment. Quite often the beginning is on the end of the tape for some reason. Because they will have put it all on the same video. Yep. Mum's Blackpool video, don't tape over. Don't tape over. It's just... 
play it. We've got two minutes of this. Minute and a half. The big one is the world's tallest, fastest roller coaster. I could watch this crap all day, man. I could watch a movie of this. Disabled people are welcome aboard, but not in peak time. Oh, really? <laughs> wow. Could I slow it down? I'm sure, I, mean, I'm, I would imagine, this is 25 years ago, things were very, well, very different. about to change it. I would imagine that, uh, that now they're just back, completely banned after this protest. Hi, there's anything that's wanted to go on, but three are in wheelchairs. Can you help us out with access, please? You say that we can't go on the ride at all? Not at the moment. I'm Why? Because they're moving a train every minute. They're they moving at one train every minute? Yeah. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, this is horrible. Oh, God. The only, the only way that they could take them would be to shut the whole ride down. Are you going to shut the ride for no. us to get on? You're not going to shut the ride for us to get on? No. Just to make it clear, we're not being allowed on the ride. Right, we're definitely not being allowed on this ride. Not at the moment. Not at the moment. Oh, this is awful. Right, OK, thank you. System set up to mitigate against disabled people again. So, so what do you want to do, kids? You can't right, come on. not letting us on. <laughs> the Pleasure Beach is owned by Geoffrey Thompson. Ah, uh, Bubbles. Mm. Geoffrey oh, Bubbles Thompson. I like Thompson. his jacket. He's a big cheese in Blackpool with strong views on local affairs. Today, he's got the council in his sights. Is England thinking of abolishing the English tourist board? Brexit. This is what Brexit looked like before we had it. But Blackpool's thinking of abolishing the Blackpool tourist board. Hey, hey, they're bad. We've only got 10 seconds Just left of this episode. The ear of a local journalist. They can't give a reason. <laughs> it's pure Moscow dogmatism <laughs> based on old fashioned Stalin. Pure Moscow dogmatism. Bloody now, pinkos. Now they will be saying it's it's cultural Marxism, which Lef I don't even know what that phrase means. Lefties. What a show. What a show. Um, we're going to go and do a raid. Do you want to call us? Call us quickly. Let's wait for a call. Let's, we'll do a raid on, once we've then, had a call. And then we're out. We'll do a raid once we've had a call. Gala pie is calling. Gala pie. I want a call. I want a phone call before we go and we do a raid. So get me a phone call now. 0203 286 637. We ain't going nowhere till we've had a phone call, guys. That's just the way it goes. That's the way it goes. We just, we'll wait. I'm in no rush. Absolutely. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God, it's this guy. Oh, you're in trouble. Oh, uh, no, I'm not in trouble. Hello. 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 Is that the Thai barber who's, I believe, is getting a divorce from Sherry Peapot? Well, apparently, yeah, I've been, so I've been told. It's all kicked off. She took your fanny and added them to Earth, her Earth, Wind and Fire. And you're all living together, but obviously it's an uneasy piece. Yeah, well, she's just walked in the room, so... Uh, she said I can have fanny back. No, it doesn't so work like that. Second-hand fanny. Like it doesn't work like no. that. She, she doesn't... She, no, it doesn't work like that. Well, I mean, I, I guess that's it then. I mean... Leave her. I mean, this, this is this is this is the end. I, 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 do I do a live? Should we do a live divorce? Do do oh yes, please! That would be awesome. <laughs> well, I'm just. I find actually just to say I'm on my way to get my second vaccine in a bit. So, oh you know, yes, mate. Perfect timing, you know, because now I'm on the market. I can see who I want, do what I want, go where I want. Oh, it's all fallen into place. Go and get that vaccine and then go out and see the world through new eyes, my friend. Thank you, thank, thank you, you, thank you. Ty Barber, Sherry Peapot, they fell out over Fanny. It happens so often. We're going to go and do a raid, Mandy, for the uh, recommendation. We're going to go and raid. Hey, Laura Blake. Um, we are, oh, hang on. Oh, God, hang on. Sherry Peapot. Yes, Sherry Peapot. We are, oh, hang on. Oh, God, hang on. Uh, what is this encouraging him for a live divorce? You you were going to divorce him because of your fanny. Oh, oh my God! Oh, no! This Quick raid, raid, raid! <laughs> we're going to do a raid. We have to get out of here. Thank you, guys. <laughs> there we go. We're done. We're done. Uh, oh, 
Oh, is she? Where is she gone? Ah, <gasps> uh, ah, uh, sorry, excuse me. Hi, everyone. Hi.